ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವಸುಂಧರ ಕಲಸ್ಬುಡಿ ನಿರಂಜನ್ ಬೇಬ್ ವಸುಂಧರ ಬೇನ್ ಜಾನ್ಸಿ As usual, we will start with the prayers. We will start with the prayers. And for prayers, I will request Shobhana Ben Shah. Uh, prayer mate, you will be able to get up and 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 get up. Shobhana Ben. શોભના બેન શોભના બેન તમારી શોધખોળ ચાલે છે પાણીને ગ્લાસ हे प्रभु आनंद दाता ज्ञान हमको दीजिए शीघ्र सारे दूर गुणों को दूर हमसे कीजिए हे प्रभु
Thank you very much, uh, Shobhra Ben and Arun Vaisha. <coughs> Ajay, our meeting mate, Gada Nava faces the Khairaj in the sense that they have come here for the first time. You must have seen wonderful arrangement, very nice food, and everything arranged by India Home. So we are extremely thankful. We will keep thanking throughout the day <laughs> to India Home for making such a nice arrangement for our meetings. At the beginning of the meeting, I will request our president, Jagdish Bhai Patel, to start the meeting with his welcome address, Jagdish Bhai. Jai Krishna, Jai Jalaram, Jai Jinendra, Jai Sai. Pella to Pratna Bhadu, Shubhna Bhene Arun Bhino Khukkuma Bhad, Dras Pratna Karai. Second, India home tarapti apne atli badi sagar food je vyavastha karele che e badal India home na staff ane doctor Vasudev ji no khub khub aapar tamaro kya mare atli tamne madad karo chhu. Lagne sab no prasang patev sarir the badai khub us sahkar apelo. Agar next apna aave che Father's Day next week. इतने भरी विनती करो के बता ये जितने सहयोग आप जो आपकी कॉस्ट लगभग 75 डॉलर पर पर्सन चहे मैंने आपने खाली 30 डॉलर चार्ज करिए चहे इतने मारु मानो के कदाच तमे बहुत स्पॉन्सरशिप ना करो तो इतने 151 इतने तमे तमारा पुतानो खर्चो पर जो आप इशारा करो तो घनु सारो तो इतने इंडिया मेरे इंडो अमेरिकन अपने मिलियन बिगा करवाना चाहिए इतने तारे हैफ वेज है इतने जो घनों दूर जोन बाकी चहे इतने जो अपने मिलियन था है तो डॉक्टर के ने अपने वाद करी शकी है कि भी हमारे जो मिलियन था जब तमे बे मिलियन अंदर ले आप हो तो बच्चे अपने नेक्स्ट जब अपने बिलिंग बाय करी शकी है तो प्लीज एक और थोड़ी मुझे को दाता आज ये तब ना सरप्राइज मंस है आफ्टर जति वक्त पहले पंकज भी तब ना जनाव से पर ये बात विजया लक्ष्मी जी आपने हम लोग खूब खूब आभारी चु कि हमने आपने सेवा करवाने और डोनेशन करवाने को हमने कहीं उच्च है अने वो हम लोग घरे घर हम लोग फोन आवे लोग के चिपचिप भी तब में आए ले जाओ I drove forty five miles to her home and pick up the all boxes but she was such a nice lady you know आज आप वहाँ में कहूँ तो हमने पर शी जस्ट कॉल मी दिस मॉर्निंग के नो आई डोंट वांट टू कम देर आई डोंट वांट टू गिव माय नेम यू वन डोंट यू वन अनाउंस बट अपनी परंपरा जे चाहे प्रमाण आपने हमने अनाउंस करूँ जरूर अने आपने खुद को पता हो हमने पची एक बार फरी फोन करीने आज ना प्रो वीडियो we have come to India Home and we have uh, Executive Director of India Home, Dr. Vasundara Kalaspuri here and I will request her to uh, address the audience. Thank you very much. Uh, in fact, uh, we welcome you all at any time to India Home. There is no restriction. You can because we have the program every Friday and you can come here on Fridays too. And in the weekends also, we will organize some of the computer classes and creative raising programs at all. Definitely, we would welcome you. But I would make a small request. One, we need, we have membership forms. It's a free membership. Anybody, you know, can sign in. Simply, we would ask your name and your address and phone number, contact information. And we ask a little bit about your uh, other details, like your uh, income, maybe your uh, insurance and all. Not because we wanted to take any money from you, but we wanted to find out if you are eligible for any benefits, government benefits, whether it is with your insurance or food stamps or housing. For that, we need some basic information. Whatever you feel comfortable revealing, you can reveal. Otherwise, you can simply give your address and number. 
And also when we have these things, uh, we also need to show to the government that how many seniors attended, right? So we will ask you to sign up, uh, sign in sheet, which would say like you are here today for the program. Uh, this is government, you know, when we take government money, we have to follow certain rules and regulations. Uh, and in fact, we are eternally grateful for Indo-American Senior Citizen Group. For one simple reason is, this is one group which does not have a single employee, which does not have a single employee and they have been doing programs for more than 25 years. So that's where I'm really, um, I admire the dedication of the board and of the members. How, because I have been attending many of their events. They are so wonderful, well organized. And of course, in their home, we have staff members for a different reason, because we do in different locations. Uh, we have some long term goals of providing housing and all. So for that, we have to follow certain government regulations. But one of the things we are looking forward to do is to have a place for Indo-American senior citizen group completely to have a place of your own. Uh, but we have to follow certain government regulations again. So we will, I'm pretty confident in the next uh, few year, two, three years, we will make sure like uh, how we can get some government funding. Of course, government funding always requires some community donations also. Because the community donations will show to the government, yes, this community is committed to have their own place. So we really need to uh, focus on having how we can have, you know, our own place just for seniors alone. So definitely, uh, we will work together more and more. You keep seeing my face <laughs> more and more. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Kalsapuri. Uh, what she has mentioned is only a small thing of what they can do. Last meeting, if you were here, we already announced that there are various ways in which India Home could benefit our members. One of the benefits that I was talking to her today was about somebody who is trying to get the citizenship but doesn't speak English they can help. Any government benefit, either it is an XSA ride, it is Medicaid, anything where you are confused, how to fill up the form, if there is a renewal, how to fill up the form, you don't get a authenticated guidance from any other source. Here with India Home, they have case managers and many case managers. One of the case, the director of the case managers, uh, Samra Rashid will be here with us they can help you to get every form filled in every question that you have that they will be able to answer so for that if you need any of those government benefit or information you can enroll your name and you can get those benefits now this thing we will keep talking throughout the day today we are we are starting with a very interesting program who would not like to leave a quality life for 120 years <laughs> and that is being guaranteed by Dr. Rao, Dr. Srinivas Rao, who happens to be husband of Dr. Kalaspuri. So Dr. Rao is with us and if I talk about his credential to talk on the subject, you will be amazed that we are so lucky to have him here. My only request to him will be artificial intelligence is an area where there are a lot of jargons and the words which a normal person cannot digest or understand well and my request to him will be to dilute it so that our members can understand uh, he will not be able to speak gujarati which normally we we try to most of the time bring the speakers who are also well versed with gujarati but i think he can speak little hindi little english but he can Dilute is talk in such a way that we all can live together for 120 years and that too with a quality life. It is not important that you live 120 years with what type of quality life you can live and we are going to get tips from him. He has also suggested that if you are interested in following up that process of living up to 120 years with quality life, 
he can also guide you one to one basis and for that uh, he can prepare a file he, he has also uh, volunteered that he can arrange a zoom meeting for all those interested people and we can look forward to 120 years okay now before uh, i hand over the mic to him i would like to tell in brief about him okay dr srinivas k rao is a new york based biomedical scientist with a phd from the university of paris france in 1988 since then he has been living and working in new york he worked at columbia university albert einstein college of medicine and the city university of new york he published more scientific articles and popular articles he has organized more than 60 scientific presentation on food nutrition health and ayurveda he has database of about 1000 edible plants to create educational product such as virtual edible plant museum with 1000 plants a word search book with 500 food items a flashcard game with 365 food items a memory game which i am having right now here if all these he has device oh my screen went off uh, and much more he is promoting a diverse diet and actively developing a knowledge based game along with the lines of geo geopardy to make food nutrition and health knowledge more accessible to the public at large. Now he is working on his new book, Health Span, Healthy Living Up to 120 Years. And I think we are one of the first beneficiary to get all those keys from him. So Dr. Rao, you are welcome. Please come here. Uh. Namaste. <clears throat> Shall we go in? Namaste, once again. Namaste. The title, Healthy Living with AI to 120 Years. This is not a commercial sales thing. In the scientific domain, always is ahead of what is practical. You take any medical advance, it takes 10, 20 years to come to the common people. Earlier, because communications were very poor. Now, something happens in New York City is all over the world, and something happens in Australia can also be all over the world if it has value. Now, Sir asked me about artificial intelligence. I'm sure some, most of you have come from Gujarat or India, some places. If I ask you about Ahmedabad, Surat, I keep on asking you questions. You will tell me about the streets that you know, 
the food that you know at such a great detail that Google cannot tell you, right? You all agree for that. Yes. Scientists for the past 20 years, after Google came in, a group of scientists decided that what Google is giving is very, very minimal. They decided to give the information just like your brain. So they wanted to train the computers like human brain. <clears throat> and they started with a kid, baby. They exactly treated the computers like a baby and keep on talking to the baby. I made it very simple as talking, but they started writing small programs to see whether the baby is making mistakes or understanding. After so many years, it has come to a state where it is almost human-like in talking to. You can go home tonight, this evening, and start the free chat GPT. Ask whatever you want. It will talk to you like your friend is talking. And if it cannot tell you, it will say, I cannot tell you. What it means is artificial intelligence is a system where all our knowledge is given to a person, all our knowledge, whether it is space, medicine, biology, engineering, water, any subject. We cannot be experts. I may be a scientist, but in a very narrow range. If you ask me for an advice, I have to give only from my training. But this is not like that. It will bring all knowledge of all the humans who have acquired so far and try to give an answer. Obviously, there will be mistakes. Your own friends, your own teachers must have said something wrong earlier without any bad intention. So please do not get surprised about artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence to me is much simpler than the computers, smartphones, programs, supercomputers. It is directly like another brain, a trained brain, a well-trained brain. In the next few years, there will be computers, the same laptops that what you are seeing, will have the knowledge of all the people on earth in one single machine. Everybody is afraid because human tendency is to use knowledge for bad things first. Gunpowder. Atom bombs. And so is this one. But the faster we learn about it, the better our lives will be. Now, coming to the topic, sir, because you asked me, I have to spend two minutes on this. And coming to the topic, as you can see on the screen, or all our lives are like leaves and will fall off one day. No matter what you do, if you don't interfere naturally. But everybody in the world says we have to be close to nature. And the paradox is human beings never stopped going against the nature. Nature is where you are supposed to live, is where the water is. We want to live in desert. We want to live in Alaska. We want to live, if possible, on Mars. I do not find any fault because we are part of the nature. If I am destroying this earth, I am not separate from any creature 
out there. If nature wants to destroy this and start a new experiment, who are we to stop it? Therefore, we are going at a tremendous speed against nature. The nature is to fall off. Without big interventions, simple medicine, people are living up to 122 years. Now, how old are you? Everybody knows their age, right? But that's not really what makes you live long or healthy. What makes you live is not your date of birth at all. What makes you live is this. Your date of birth is chronological age by date. Your biological age is your metabolism. Your psychological age is how you think. And your subject to age is how you feel. Your body, we all believe in God. Creation or no creation, it doesn't matter for this science part that I'm talking. Each one of you is made of one million molecules as a machine. You all know that liver transplant is possible. You all know heart transplant is possible. Imagine if you told someone in 1950s, they would say, oh, come on, you are fooling. But it's a reality now. People are going to live, be healthy. If you understand the machine properly, I'm sure most of you, when you are, if you were to be in India, you had car or motorcycle or something. Not every motorcycle or every vehicle was healthy. You can easily tell how much gas or uh, how much oil, petrol it is consuming, how much fumes it is giving out. You can tell that this motorcycle is not healthy. We cannot tell other human beings like that, but we are exactly the same. Then you know, if you are knowledgeable, if we can fix his carburetor, it will be fine. If he doesn't take petrol from that bunk where he mixes kerosene, it will be fine. Right? Motorcycle can be run on kerosene, car can be run on kerosene, human body can be run on junk food too. But how long? What help? How do you care? So, this is the basis of the whole presentation that you have four different types of living and living to be healthy. And you are, well, at the end, I'll come to give two examples in my personal life, and thereby I hope you will be convinced. This is the normal course. Nature has made this. Nature is so cruel that it doesn't want to leave you after 40. After you finish reproduction, you are a burden to the nature. But unfortunately, nature made another mistake, giving us brain, love, attachment. With that, we want to live longer. No other animal, no other creature would like to live longer except trees. Some trees do live longer, but they also have finite and they don't change their life. If a tree is supposed to live for 500 years, it doesn't change its 500 years to 501, but humans can change. Now, this is the latest that we can talk about. I don't know whether you can see well or not from the old picture. There is a small line that is going all the way down to under 10 or so. Under, 
which means if you do all the prevention if you take care of your body well obviously you need money you surely can live 10 to 15 years more easily you can just prove this point if you can think about your friends from your first grade high school who never moved out of your india or that town with more or less similar background they are 10 years older than you please keep checking and we go back to india very often and we see they are 10 years older in many many ways not just by body of course passport wise or date of birth wise the same age but their metabolism wise they are 10 years older their thinking wise probably even more they say oh what because all my friends have retired and recently one friend came and he was stunned he says how come you are doing these things at every time why are you not relaxing so i use the word artificial intelligence again meaning taking all knowledge properly in a simple words in a simple understanding for anyone to understand in any language artificial intelligence made a big progress on that side but google made another big progress whatever i'm saying if you have three or four good committed people the whole thing that what i'm saying can be in gujarati it is possible now but we did not prepare that way today but in future definitely when i'm talking in english i don't have to speak in english then i can speak in telugu and it will be converted into gujarati because the syntax of telugu and gujarati are similar than english and gujarati so with that you can extend up to 20 120 years if you track your health repair it and improve it large scale american data shows that if you are 16 to 44 44 your chance of hospitalization is 6.6 percent probably seven people out of 100 will be admitted into hospital for some reason whereas if you are up to 64 you will be admitted 8.7 8 9 people maybe but the same number after 65 doubles to become 16 percent one in six need to go to hospital Therefore, on this natural progression, this is inevitable. Up to 65 is fine. I'll come back to this slide for a very important point about Indo-American Senior Citizen Center membership. Today, your doctors, scientists, or if you talk to anyone, all these health experts, will tell you three important things. Exercise. Get adequate sleep, consume organic vegetarian food. These three can extend a few years, no, no doubt. There are three important ones, you must do that. But these three cannot take you to beyond, take you to up to 120. And these three cannot take you to the next level because the human body is so complex. Exercise alone doesn't do much. Sleep alone doesn't do much. And food alone doesn't do much. What is the proof? You go to see anyone in Ladakh. Recently I was there last year. I was stunned. I went to see one of my friend's mother and he is already 40 and he said that she is already 80. So I said that, okay, as soon as I go home, she will be there, right? No. She is in the fields 
doing farming physically with her own hands and she and her husband drove to the farm and we waited for one hour she came back and she's really 80 and what does she eat barley barley powder how in yogurt that's her meal that's her food and we have probably in new york city have we calculated we have about 900 different food varieties from the world so that's not food alone that's not sleep alone that's not exercise alone i'm talking about one lady doesn't mean that she is the only one if you go to visit ladakh you see all these people you cannot tell what their age is but they're all working some work or the other and they eat very well. I'm not saying that they are, don't eat. They eat meat, they eat barley, whatever. So, living longer, how to be healthier? Living longer is easy. Doctors can make you live. Almost your heart is getting stopped. They will say, okay, no problem, I'll resurrect. Oh, your heart is not good, no problem, I'll tra transplant. But, how to live healthy? That is the main crux. I do not want to live with all these spare parts and not able to be normal as I am today. And then in the United States, there's a system, I'm sure you all of you know, that you can sign off when you the plug on you should be pulled. Right? So everybody should think about it, but science is telling you, you don't have to do that. So what's the difference between the science before and now? Because science is science, right? Common man things. Yeah, you're all doing research before and what's the difference? The different difference is earlier, one scientist works in lab and established some good principle. It is given to the doctors and doctors do clinical trials. And if majority of the people are getting benefited, it turns becomes a medicine practice, whatever. But there's one flaw there. The flaw is that scientist work who is working on one particular disease, one particular drug, but with today's ability to take enormous amount of data, artificial intelligence can combine all those things. Is penicillin good for you? When it was introduced, everybody says it's a miracle drug, but soon people come to know it's not so. Many drugs, every drug is uh, in is the vaccine, COVID vaccine, recent example. Oh, they got COVID vaccine and they died. Right? Yes, it is possible. There are cases if you want to take out of millions on the day when the person got in 15 minutes, I think somebody died. Why? Nobody knows. Or at least that is not established and published properly. But artificial intelligence will consider everything and who should take, who should not take. Today we know penicillin, who should not take. That is not available for all medicines. So, knowingly, unknowingly, innocently, we are harming our body, thinking that we are getting benefit with some of the medicines. I mean, there's a doctor here, but I'm telling it and I can have a debate on that later. The body doesn't age. That's what I'm coming to. Your membership. The body doesn't age. As we already saw that date of birth is not equal. Then your metabolism. Your metabolism is the collective activity of all the systems. There are several systems here. And these four systems, the, your gut microbiome, most of you may not have been talking to your doctor about what is my gut bio biome today. Sir, is this uh, good or uh, doctor, is this going bad or is it doing well? Well, that's not there yet. Your transcription, you have all the genes, you got great genes. Your grandmother lived for 90 years, but what's the guarantee that you are not and you are going to live that? Because in your grandmother, the genes were expressed properly 
In your grandfather, the brain worked very well because his genes were expressed properly. Whereas in us, if they are not working properly, even though you got the same gene, it doesn't matter. Then your blood. Looking at your blood, which has plenty of molecules, with artificial intelligence, they can easily predict what's going to be wrong with you in the next few years, not then. Now, they can predict what is wrong with you now. And then the brain. That's a big subject Dr. Kalspuri has to address later. Just sitting with one person, talking to that person, you can infer many things because the brain works in coordination with your health. So in future, this in the next new near future, you would get something like this behavior, your photo, your blood, your transcription, your amniosis, remembering or not remembering, methylation, microbiome, heart, and subject to age. And that gives how fast you are aging or not aging. Once you know that you are aging faster, then you have to take care. Once you know that you are not aging faster, that's okay, that's a natural thing. It's not theory. This company, Elysium, they have a product called Elysium Index. Elysium Index is a $299 package. They will send up, if you pay for it, they will send a box. You have to use your saliva only, no blood. And then they will, within six weeks, they will give you a report to say whether you are aging, your age is same as your date of birth, chronological, or faster, normal, less. Based on that, you must act. Right now, you may be fine. Those who are fine, if they can act, then they will not become emergency cases. Once you avoid any emergency, it saves two things. One, money, obviously. Pain and all separate. We can't quantify. But what it avoids is the disturbance to the other organs. Let us say you are sick. There is some liver problem. If it is actually a problem, it's not just liver. Liver is not just saying that I'm sick and therefore the rest of the body is okay. No. And doctors will not look into other aspects because they have to first take care of your liver. But if you try to understand your biological age, you can handle this ahead of time. Blood. There are new blood tests coming from this company, Deep Longevity Company. This blood test is far more serious. And you can tell me when to stop. And the brain, certainly there are plenty of tests. Then there are several apps. I have listed here only 11 of them, which can take care of your diet, your fitness. In the fitness app or Fitboard, it can train each part of your muscle. If you have knee pain, Again, the standard claim is uh, talk to your doctor and ask which muscles I should exercise. Because you don't have to, if you have a knee pain, you don't have to go to gym and do all the treadmills, this, that and all. Only those muscles you can work on. Then drinking problem. There are apps to control the drinking problem. Regular checkups. This particular app, Teladoc, if you have this app, it will tell you this is your checkup time. These are the medications that you have to take. When you are taking more medications, it automatically tells you in the combination of these two, it is not right. Maybe the doctor in a hurry prescribed one. Also, the patients have another great behavioral problem. They talk to their doctor, they talk to their friend, they talk to their other doctor, they call somebody in India, and they keep on taking medicines. Least knowing that some of the medicines should not be taken together. Then the next one is sleep, a calm, possibly a very simple meditation and stories and things like that. Then the vaccination app, MediSafe, is also 
There are 90 vaccines in United States today. I suggest all seniors must maintain a simple practical chart either with the organization or individually and see whether you are taking all those vaccines at the right time or not. Because these are all free. Most vaccines are free. You don't have to buy. The next one is a very interesting app. This app, I'm sure everybody should have it. This app says, Plant Nanny. Every time you drink your water, it says, just uh, click and say that I took water. Then the small plant, what you see there, will keep growing. In a given day, it has to grow full, which means you should eat, drink that much water. Otherwise, six glasses, eight glasses, this glasses, that glass, all those things you know, but you may forget. But when you look at the phone, oh, there is the flower is not there yet, which means I have to take one more glass. Then stress management, there is an Insta timer. Then there is a social connection. I don't have to talk about this to you because I have been coming to you in the American Senior Center for a long time. And I know you're all very well on this. With app or without app, you're fine. Regular medical checkups, I'm sure you all have one. But this my chart is the most popular app which will take everything and therefore including myself. I want to put all my details into this chart. Unfortunately, it's not so simple. And for some people, probably organizations like you or India Home have to help and make sure that every member signing to you has a my chart. And every single information of that person is in the my chart. How are you going to get all these nice uh, ideas of moving life very well with the same medicines or no, they are not the same medicines. We have so many tissues. Some cells are bad. They are dying because of age, because of various things. Now there are methods, medicines that can kill the dead cells in a tissue. Like you see here, these blue cells are dead, dead cells and they are killed and then the body generated new cells. If not, all the other cells also become old and die. That's the natural way. The current future way is to remove dead cells and make it move forward. There is a method for that from olden days called pasting. And from senescence or old as you grow, the blue is what is healthy and the yellow and red are not that healthy. Now there are medicines, senolytic interventions. When you get these medicines, already there are three medicines on the market. When you get these medicines, you can become again showing in the color healthy. There are other medicines from different companies and this presentation will be given to you. There are no secrets here. So you can all go back and use it. To know about your body is the most important. Know thyself in the Western world and in the Eastern world or India, you first understand yourself before trying to do anything. To understand your body, these variables, watches, they are all very useful. And the data from that can go into my chart and then you can get good. I'm sure some of you already have this. Now, what can you do practically? All the theory is fine, but today when you go home, try to get chat GPT or some program. You can ask your people if you don't know and design your meal. It will tell you for breakfast, you need 400 calories, lunch, you need 450, dinner, 500. This is for me and snack 200. But what it doesn't tell you and what the entire literature tells you is you should be happy to eat. Just because it is healthy, don't eat non-tasty food items. Don't eat that food item that you don't like. Because when you push the food items that you don't like, your brain will reject it. In two different ways it rejects. Number one, it doesn't say that you are full. 
or when you are not eating enough you can say it is food both ways depending on your so this is for me but i know that i am presenting here see the artificial intelligence or chat gpt i generated a meal for you i simply said gujarati i did not expect the kind of detail that you also will maintain in your house if you go and write down it says it's inspired by the gujarati the difference is between andhra and gujarati breakfast thapla right this the machine gave all i asked is i want a gujarati meal plan and see the detail it has given i don't have time to go into all details everything is given to you and who you for dinner and who you for dinner has a bigger meaning scientifically because high fiber and then see evening snack afternoon snack mid morning snack samilians that i know or some north indians or punjabis they don't have all these kind of mid meal this meal that meal snack only in a traditional gujarati and this is healthy there's one company i know some of you are big business people i thought that i should include this slide half an hour is uh, 30 minutes now this company started by a russian is adding value to every single company in the medical industry to the health industry to the people of adding artificial intelligence and this company is growing very very well if you have the habit of buying stocks please observe this <laughs> observe this company and one month shadow stock thing and if you really find something good then let some money come to india home <laughs> and india american senior center life expectancy is growing in united states this is the united states data from cdc death rate is coming so there are so many seniors but diabetes is growing obesity is growing alzheimer's is growing arthritis is growing and depression is also growing there are 120 to 175 companies working on all these aspects so will ai help us to live healthier yes what's the proof a few years back i published this book scientist greater than einstein one person by name billy woodward in kentucky was suffering with full body pains gout and one doctor gave him allopurinol a simple medicine probably and just like that he became all right but then he thought this doctor is better than einstein and who are the doctors who have done good to humanity so he took a serious effort several good people came up together and they put 10 scientists work which is saving millions of lives every year and now 2.5 billion when we publish it is 2 billion now it is 2.5 billion lives are saved and are healthier because of the work of these scientists i'll give only one example called landsteiner from new york blood groups if blood groups are not determined properly we cannot give blood to the other person if you cannot give blood to the other person many many would have died i mean there are so many details to go in so my hope or my proof my proof and the hope is these people works and their medicines their interventions saved and increased healthy as you can see here in this graph from 1932 to 
US longevity progressed very well, the same data. First, see vaccines, blood bank, antibiotics, x-ray, oral rehydration therapy, your blood test, quilter counter, and laparoscopic surgery. When you go for surgery earlier, it used to be a big procedure. And the complications can be more. Once you are cut open, even though the doctor is God, mistakes are mistakes. Whereas here, they, they are minimized. Then ventilator. We all know ventilator, how important it is. Then MRI. Much ahead, earlier, it can detect the inner problems without cutting open. And more than all these things, electronic medical records. It went down. Yes, glad you noticed. It went down. Yeah. Why? So. so, electronic medical records, maintaining the record of the patient, doctors are, AP, are able to monitor very well compared to this scenario again, you can compare with India. In India, you go to a doctor, neither the doctor nor the patient will have a record. So, I believe that by tracking, repairing, and you can improve, and we can go up to 120. But what you can, what can you do right now? Other than the meal plan, record, monitor. You have a monitors and review with the doctors every three months or six months, depending on your situation. Gene level testing, whatever gene level testing is available, please get it done. I spoke to the Elysium company. If 100 people come together, will you reduce it to 299? From 299 to can you reduce it? They said, yes, just let us know. So all these gene tests and companies are looking for people. And if we go as a group, we'll get a discount. And then food, sleep, and socialization, you are doing very well. But more than that, there should be a purpose. Without purpose, Definitely people cannot and will not live a healthy, happy life. Body may live, but it cannot be. And the purpose for each one can be a different one. You decide your purpose. The other day at the breakfast, my granddad asked, she is four years and now she is five. She said that Tata is grandfather. I will have three babies. You have to take care of those babies. Because we are very often go to taking care of them. And she said, your, grand, your parents will be grandparents. They are, no, 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 they are doctors. I want you to take care of them. <laughs> right? That's the purpose. I told you, I'll give you two personal examples. My grandmother died in 1991. She was waiting for Mukoti Vaikuntha Ekadasi. And it is remarkable in the family that she missed the Vaikuntha Ekadasi the previous year. So she said that, oh, I have to live one more year. And she exactly lived till the Vaikuntha Ekadasi in December and died. She was not that healthy, but that entire year, that purpose made her. Therefore, optimistic attitude towards health and longevity decreases both psychological and subject to age. Your date of birth age, we cannot do anything. Your metabolic age, I told you, we can reduce with various interventions. After one year, we can have a meeting again and see if you follow what we, whichever group is coming to follow this. You definitely in one year, your metabolic age also will come down. And today itself, you can start practicing your psychological age and subject to age. Start thinking that you are Whatever age you like. And why? There is another proof. Sadam, who yazi, Sadas,
May we see a hundred autumns. May we live a hundred autumns. May we be wakeful for a hundred autumns. May we attain wisdom for a hundred autumns. May we be well for a hundred autumns. May we adorn a hundred autumns. May the autumns be more than a hundred. May we accomplish all this. This is this statement or wish is from 5000 years from Indian subcontinent. And the rulers Indians, Muslims, independent, Congress, this, that, all those have destroyed this vision. And now the world woke up and several leaders around the world are trying to make that wish of those rishis come true and I have no doubt about it. And if you carefully go through, you will also not have any doubt about it. So whatever I thought, whatever I read, I cannot put it in 30, 40 minutes. So I'm putting this whole thing in a book called Health Span, your companion to healthy and long life. Following that, every day, I have no doubt how long you will live, I cannot no one probably cannot guarantee because with all this great thing, you just go out and make accident and that's a different matter. But so long as you live, you will be healthy, you will be happy because brain is the one which is controlling rather than anything else. We have only five minutes left for questions if you want. Otherwise, you can always email me or we can meet again. And okay, or you can send me via email so that I can ask answer every single question in detail. So what is your email? S Rao. <laughs> oh, okay. S Rao 123 at gmail.com but you don't have to send it to me you have to email india home address or indo-american senior center's address so if you send it to them they know that they have to send it to me i have to say one important thing for the india home india american indo-american senior center and india home senior program if you want to make this happen Starting at 70 or 60 is not right. 50. We started from 50. We have members from 50. Yeah. If you have members from 50, yeah. because 40 is in the down period, but in living in the United States at 10 years, and if you take all 50s, they should be taking care of their health now, even if they are working. We have in fact membership from the age 50, so we admit uh, as a member once they are 50. Uh, now, <clears throat> first of all, anybody has any question that, yes, go ahead. Dr. Rao, thank you very much for your uh, lecture and your seminar, we appreciate it very much. But I have one question, <clears throat> you show on, uh, on the screen that uh, the longevity of the human being was increasing until 2021 and then it started getting decreasing. What's the reason? Simple, COVID. See, you have to remember the low longevity 
in 30s or 40s is also not real. Earlier, humans have walks. And therefore, the statistical longevity has come down, but people are always living the same way they are living. They calculate based on how many people are living and those kind of statistical things make it less. And COVID made a big impact. I'm glad that you are all noticing such minor things. So first of all, uh, thank you very much for a very fruitful and wonderful presentation. The question I have is the, the basis for the artificial intelligence is the compilation of the data uh, in a variety of fields and then feeding to the computer, right? The data could be excellent, bad, worst, etc. obviously. Now, how, once the data is fed, uh, how artificial intelligence will be able to analyze that multiple data and gives the best advice out of it? Yes, uh, the question is, what's the guarantee that you are teaching the computer in the artificial intelligence that the data is good or bad? Every artificial intelligence engine has two parts. One, taking the data and making sense. The other one is discrimination. It will discriminate. Discrimination is a big word in the Indian philosophy. Not discrimination as you are white or black or Indian. Discrimination is to have the ability to see what is right, what is not right. Every program has it. Yes, there will be mistakes, there will be errors, but they are better than not having anything like this. Now, other question is, the, as according to my knowledge, uh, the, the, the first university of AI is in Abu Dhabi, as you know. I'm sure you must be doing. I went there. Yeah. So, uh, so, so can you just briefly highlight uh, how, how they are going to function and when they will be effective? Because at the moment, it is in the process of establishing, I, I understand. Mazdar University. What uh, he's referring is Mazdar University in Abu Dhabi is one of the best. I went uh, 15 years back and I actually sat in a car where there is no driver. They are that advanced. Because they are king gun places. If the king is good, there is no stopping of progress. That we know in India very well. If the king is bad, no matter what wealth you have, it is bad. Mazdar has done extraordinarily well because they called all brilliant people from all over the world. They did not bother whether that fellow is Muslim or Arab or speaks Arabic or not. And all other countries, including India, mostly India, do not want that. They want their own person. They want their own party member. Therefore, India could not make and Mazdar stood out like anything. So I encouraged my niece to apply and automatically she got it. That's how I went. Thank you, Doctor. Now, this is an area, I think everybody has a lot of desire to go deeper into this and uh, see how they can have quality life for 120 years. This particular uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation will be part of the recording which we will be sending it to you. So not only that you keep seeing it often and try to follow it but apart from that I will be requesting as initially I have requested <coughs> We will have a Zoom meeting with Dr. Rao. Those who really want to live for 120 years. <laughs> so, uh, sir, do you want to have the list now of the people who are interested or we collect the leads later on and send you? As per your plan. Okay. Now, we will, if, uh, today, we are having other uh, agenda. Uh, we have uh, another speaker who is going to speak now. Now, she is also in a hurry and she what she had to go somewhere. So that is why right now we will change our topic. But, go ahead. On new level testing, you 
was asking. Okay, hold on. So, I, I have an interest in that person. Then you'll be able to. Uh, we were talking about gene level <laughs> testing. I am interested. So, if anyone else, and then what can we, will, we do? We will 100 people get to get to this topic. I don't know. I and my husband. No, but, no, you can pay for 100. <laughs> 100. <laughs> that is true. You can sponsor that. Sir, I have at present 80, 80 years old. Now, how many years I will live? <laughs> yes, sir. 32 more years. 120, 120 minus 88. 32 years. You want 32 it. years. 32 years. 32. So you have 88 plus 32. One of the things also Dr. Rao is organizing, we are organizing lectures for the beautician, not just by Dr. Rao. Dr. Rao is inviting a lot of, um, you know, experts in nutrition field. We are having the lectures. We'll send the link. Definitely okay. we'll share it to all your groups. So anybody wants you can join every Monday at 10 o'clock. Yeah. Um, one of the, namaste everybody. So one of the lady asked about the genetic testing. So anybody in your immediate family, if they have any um, autoimmune disease or cancer or something in your immediate family, your insurance covers the genetic testing. Okay, so anybody in your immediate family, immediate family is aapke bachche, aapke parents, not ke ab wo kisi chache dade ko ho gaya to it's, um, it happens. But immediate family mein agar kisi ko koi bhi aisi autoimmune disease ya uh, cancer is tarah ki cheez diagnose hui hai, within two years uh, spam mein, to your insurance will cover the genetic testing. For whole family? I mean, just just keep the immediate family hogi na. Whoever is included in genetic testing, so up if you get the genetic testing, your kids are covered, right? If you got the genetic testing, if you don't have the genes, where are you gonna pass it? So they're covered. So you can, you know, your insurance can cover it. One more thing for the aging genetic testing, if people are interested, sign up. We will try to get a grant for that. <laughs> oh, God. This one I was So now, now we will try to list the people who would like to have the genetic testing. You can, you can initiate them. Retire them. You will be the leader. It will be again. Okay. Anyway, uh, the person who spoke to you right now, I think many of you may have might have recognized her. She is Samara Rashid. And our next program, earlier we listed three things. There was also program from the members, which we will be going to keep at the last. And the last program, what we kept as proxy. How many of you have already signed the proxy and given it to the person to whom you appointed as proxy? Everybody has done that or most of the people? Quite possible you may not have done that correctly or you may not have fully understood it. So this is the session in which Samra will be helping us. Samra is going to explain what proxy is. First of all, let me say something about Samra, Samra Rashid is a social worker director at India Home. She is masters in psychology and social work. She has worked in hospitals, nursing homes, correction facility, etc. And as I earlier mentioned, there are a lot of case managers. They are all working under her uh, leadership. So whatever benefit you wish to receive from the government, she can help you through her case managers. Today, she will be first explaining you about the proxy if you are not fully understood it. And thereafter, if you have any question, we will take the question. And she is here with the proxy forms. You can actually do not delay filling, filing the, uh, filling in the proxy form. If you have not done it, do it today. Not only that, if you, I, I already uh, circulated on in WhatsApp that if you want to give proxy, bring the name of the proxy and their contact number and address. 
So with full information, if you write a proxy form today, fill up the proxy form today, we'll be able to make the copies for you here. So if you are appointing your son or daughter as a proxy, give them a copy. That is the right way to do it. And if you have any question about the proxy, that will be handled. So Samra, have a seat and uh, that's great. Um, namaste everybody. Uh, so my kind uncle gave a very huge introduction to me. Some of those are true. Some of those are just, you know, he just trying to praise me. So um, I have uh, with me here Vadhi. Um, she is a social worker too. She uh, works time to time for us whenever we need it. So um, she uh, um, is going to explain it professionally. I believe in making things understand. So as long as I don't go, go whole nine yards. The simple thing is to make you understand. So um, starting with it, like she will do it, you know, she is trying to probably impress you. I have, I have already done it. So, you know, um, healthcare proxy. Healthcare proxy is aap log appoint karte hain. Sari zindagi, we make decisions for our kids, right? Sari galat hain, sahi hain, because the kids don't come with a manual at all. So, hum unke liye decision banate hain. But jab hamari bari aati hai, is age mein, it's very, very hard. Even if it's what to cook for dinner, bohat hard hai apne liye karna. So, we want our kids to make those decisions for us. It's always the case in, in, in at least my community. That's what I see. My mom don't want sorry zindagi wo mere liye khud decision banati nahi aur ab wo chahti hai ki main banau. So especially when it comes. So healthcare proxy is not any legal document jo power of attorney hai ya advance directive. It's not that. Healthcare proxy is as simple that aapko pata hai aapke do bachcho mein se ya teen bachcho mein se ek bachcha aisa hai jo can make those decisions putting the emotions aside ek acha bachcha hota hai na so wo to bilkul nahi usko to bilkul nahi choose karna mummy daddy bachche ko bilkul choose nahi karna because he is not going to make a decision for you the right decision so ek bachcha hota hai jo bada straight forward you know okay it is what it is wala attitude usko appoint karne ka right <laughs> Unfortunately, I am that bacha in my house. My brother, he's older brother, he's very wise, everything, but when it comes to the mom and dad, he'll probably, you know, not want them to make any decision like karo, karo, bas bachao, theek karo, sahi karo, even if the doctor bhi keh rahe ki nahi hona, because he's emotional. He's emotional about that. So not understanding the, ye dekhe jo medical aspect, kyunke ye decision sirf wo hai, jo medically right decision hai. Emotionally, no. We want our mother, 70 years, 100 years, 110 years, to live. And we want to live longer. To live, right? So, but it's it's not it's not an ideal situation, right? And maybe our parents don't want to live that when they can't function from themselves, they go and live, because their children don't want to play the mother. So. This is only related to your health decisions. Agar aap khud se banana chahe, well and good. That, that uh, null and voids that healthcare proxy. But if you want and if you believe that my such and such kid will make the right decision when it comes to making the decisions about it, then it's a simple form jisme aap apna naam likhenge aur apne bete ya beti jiska bhi aap apne friend ka apne apni bhain ka apne bhai ka jo bhi aapko lagta hai next of kin to aap uska naam likhenge uska address likhenge niche ek main witness ke taur pe sign karungi koi bhi kar sakta hai it doesn't have to come with a you know medical degree or anything koi bhi witness ke taur pe do signature kar sakta hai isko notarize karne ki zarurat nahi kuch karne ki zarurat nahi so you can do it right there and then and put one in your medical records jo ki aap ja ke apne pcp ko denge jo aapka physician hai usko denge ek apne ghar rakh sakte hain ek apne bacche ko de sakte hain but as long as it is there to doctors are not prone to make those decisions for you they can advise but unko decision make nahi karna aapke liye 
तो आपका वो बच्चा वी विल गिव हिम और हर अ कॉल एंड देन दे विल मेक दैट डिसीजन एम आई क्लियर एनी क्वेश्चन जी जी जो आप बोला हेल्थ केयर प्रैक्टिस उसके साथ में डीएनआर और डीएनआई करने की जरूरत है या नहीं बिल्कुल भी नहीं डीएनआर डीएनआई एंटायरली सेपरेट फॉर्म है करवाना चाहिए आई एम अ बिग एडवोकेट फॉर दैट बट वो आप अपने मेडिकल डॉक्टर के मशवरे से करेंगे राइट right? वो आपको एक्सप्लेन करेंगे कि इन इस सूरत में अगर आप सपोज इफ आप अभी इस आप लाइक अपने लिए डिसीजन मेक कर सकते हैं यू आर मोर देन वेलकम टू डू दी एन आर डी एन आई क्योंकि यू बिलीव के वेन इट्स टाइम प्रॉबली मेरे बच्चे इस मुश्किल डिसीजन को नहीं बना पाएंगे तो यू कैन साइन इट इट्स अ वेरी गुड थिंग टू डू बट इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू लेट दम सफर वो भी बनाते रहे यू नो जी अंकल आप कह रहे हैं फॉर्म लॉस्ट और स्टोल तो सौ बार बनाए कौन रोक रहे इट्स नॉट इट्स नॉट अ लीगल पेपर जिसको आपको नोटराइज कराना है या वो करना है अरे भाई घूम गया कॉपी निकालो दैट्स ऑल The only Keep the copy phone. in your phone. <laughs> the thing is, if you don't have a healthcare proxy, if you lose it, you don't have it at all. There's something called the New York State Family Health Decisions Act. So it will go to your next of kin, meaning if you're married, it will go to your wife. If you're not married, um, and you, you know, or if you're, if you are widowed and you have children, it will go to your children. So depending on the order of people, it will go to a family member, and then if they're not able to locate a family member, they will try to find a friend or you know the closest relative. But the reason it's so important is because the person who is your next of kin may not be the person that you want to appoint. Like let's say that your next of kin is your spouse, but you want to appoint your children. So because that's not always the same thing, it is important to have a healthcare proxy. and provide it to the people who you know like you should not be the only person with the copy of your healthcare proxy your agents whoever you appoint should have a copy of it your doctor should have a copy of it and i always recommend taking a picture in your phone so you have it in case of an emergency you can just pull it up thank you very much but can you have a two of instead of one no you can make a copy sir no no, no no healthcare can proxies you yes two? yes you can you can the one Next, of the purpose the of order. holding today's talk about proxy is to not only execute it we will get copies if you need two copies three copies we will make copies here and give it to you it is one of the best thing to do in a in a in a group like this uh, this should be done often uh, suppose you are done proxy but if it is misplaced or not available immediately we you, you can execute one more one now today now before we go further just now the question was replied by vaidehi Are you all familiar with Vedi? Yes. Vedi yes. yes. gave several talks in our uh, Zoom talk, and she is daughter of uh, Mr. and Mrs. Jokhakar who are there. Yeah. <laughs> so, so they are our members, and she is uh, her daughter. And uh, I, I remember she played a very nice game on the uh, computer. They uh, and uh, I was looking for further exercise like that. I also spoke to you once about that, yeah. right? But she is here, and uh, she will explain further uh, about uh, power of this uh, proxy. And then, who will be the people who will be interested in executing the proxy today? Uh, you can raise your hand. Now, these people who want to do the proxy will be going to the other room because there are table and chairs available. They will sign the proxy form there. so if you are not done proxy or if you have, if you have misplaced your proxy or if you do not know whether uh, it is available to your kids and all that you can do it again today so that we will do it after uh, she talks about the proxy go ahead so um, just to follow up on what you were asking about what to do can there be multiple proxies meaning let's say you Please. create a proxy today and then later on you decide you know what this is not really the person i want to making my decisions you change your mind you can always Please. 
you can do two things. One, you can put, there's an option on the proxy to put an expiration date. Like some people, if they're going for a procedure, they only want a certain person making decisions for that procedure, right? So they can put an expiration on it. But if you at a later time decide, oh, I want to change my proxy, you can create a new proxy and the one with the latest date is the one that's valid. Um, and then just a few places, I know we spoke a little bit about where, what to do with your healthcare proxy once you complete it. So a few places that I always tell to provide it is A, your primary care physician, the people who are your primary and secondary proxies, which by the way, you can appoint two people. So that way, if your first agent, your primary agent is not able to make decisions or they don't want to, the, the you know, we can go on to the second person. So the doctor, wherever you are. Um, you should always keep a copy on your smartphone, especially because it is one, I, I'm a hospital social worker. So one of the first things that we ask for when patients come into the hospital is, do you have a healthcare proxy? And if you say yes, then we say, okay, can you provide a copy of it? And so to have it in easy access is really important. Um, keep a copy at home, because sometimes if something happens at home, EMS comes to the house, keep it in a place that it's easily accessible to them. Um, I always recommend keeping a copy in the glove compartment of your car in case there's ever an accident, you wanna keep it in your car and then give it to any next of kin or family members or caregivers who are involved in your care. So for anyone, not just for you, for any relatives or friends that you have who might have a caregiver or an aide at home or like a Medicaid aide, they should also have a copy of it because if they're the people you're spending time with, just make sure that when needed, it's not just a document that you file away, that it's accessible to you. And I just want to reiterate that uh, as long as you're able to make decisions for yourself, creating this healthcare proxy does not take away your right to make your own health decisions. Doctors, any medical professional will always defer to you first as long as you are able to, you understand the situation, you have the mental capacity to make decisions for yourself. But sometimes, you know, you think, oh, I'm perfectly healthy. I don't need a healthcare proxy. But you never know when something will happen. And especially during COVID, like think of how many people needed to be intubated. You know, they weren't expecting to need to be intubated. And when something like that, ha that happens, even if you may have capacity, you're not able to speak up for yourself, right? So in these situations, it is really important to have a healthcare proxy, especially if you have multiple children and you don't, you know, you want what's best for your families. You don't want children to argue over your health care either. So you want to make sure that your wishes are heard and you're appointing the person that you trust the most in the situation. Um, and I think that's about everything. I think Samra covered most of the. I, I have one suggestion or a question, whatever you call it. Sure. Uh, proxy appointing spouse as a proxy. And then as an alternate agent, you can appoint one of the children? Yes, you can do that. Is it not the ideal situation? Um, Is it not the best me. thing? Yeah, so um, healthcare proxy, not only they make decisions for you, if you're institutionalized, if you're in the hospital or in, in a nursing home. So the first call, even if it's in the middle of the night, anything, if we need to make a decision as a medical team, that person is going to get that call because healthcare proxy, like supposedly, so we look for healthcare proxy. We as social worker in the hospitals or in uh, um, nursing homes or any institution that your, your parent is in. So we look for the healthcare proxy to call. So that is, that is you know, regarding uncles that you put your spouse do you think that they're as active as they are if the bell rings at 12 a.m they're gonna pick up their phone so it's always ideal situation to appoint your kids as your healthcare proxy because honestly no matter how much i hate my husband it's hard to make decisions you know and then you know there was one uncle in a nursing home when i was there he used to whenever he used to have fight with his wife you to cut her name from the healthcare proxy. So uh, going back and forth, you know, spouses mein to jhagda hota hi rata hai. to bachcha hi rahenge na? So it's always better to appoint your kids, your friend, or that one friend who you think is very straightforward and, you know, can make that decision. It's always better. Save your spouse. Yes, uncle. 
अंकल आपको पूरी फैमिली चाहिए आप हेल्थ केयर प्रॉक्सी के लिए यूर किलिंग मी हेयर टू मैक्सिमम टू पीपल ओके लाइक आप पूरी आप तो सोशल वर्कर की जिंदगी हराम कर रहे हैं भाई करी जाओ फोन पहला भी हेल्थ केयर प्रॉक्सी दूसरा भी हेल्थ केयर प्रॉक्सी तो दो काफी है Whoever you appoint, I do recommend have a conversation with them about your wishes. Make sure that the person you appoint is aware of what you would want, and that's a hard conversation to have, but it's an important one. So if you're going to create a healthcare proxy, make sure that person knows that they're your healthcare proxy. Yeah. And make sure they know what you want would want, right? So some of those questions, yeah. No, this no, is no, not financial. Don't tell them at bank all. balance at all. Don't tell them your bank balance because that's gonna alter their decision. So no, it has nothing to do with your bank balance. अरे भाई इतना पैसा हाथ आएगा फिर तो decision मुश्किल ही नहीं. One two three जाने दो. So don't tell anybody your bank balance. Our our president has a suggestion that Indo-American will keep a copy of everybody's. Yeah. Thank God, Dr. K is not here. Otherwise, she would have suggested that to more work. She was gonna say, yeah, yeah, सबका healthcare proxy बना दो, बना दो, इधर ही बना दो. So you know, we'll take care of it. Let me get a count of hands of who wants to complete one now. I'm just curious to know whoever does not want to complete one. What, is there any questions, concerns that I might be able to answer for you? Uh, I don't have kids. I don't tell my niece plus her sister or not. Okay, okay. that's true. Yeah. That's true. You can always email us. My email must be, um, you know, distributed already. Or India Home email, or you know, send it, send in a group chat, and they will approach us. So we can always do it again and again and again whenever you want to. It's not something that आज नहीं decide करेंगे तो you know end of the world. You can do it. Oh, Dr. K is here. I think she have one more announcement to do that we will do it for you. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe she heard that Dr. K is not there. She didn't know I was here. <laughs> We have a great social worker, Samra, and of course, why they he? She speaks Gujarati too, so definitely whatever help you need, whether it is benefits or anything, they are going to help you out. Of course, at the same time, why they he might call you to do some surveys. It's not for I mean, it's we are not going to collect your personal information or anything, but just to make sure, like okay. If the depression scales, anxiety scales, all these scales will help us to know, you know, what your mental, um, I mean, what your mental health situation. If you need some help, somebody to talk to, that will help us to provide the services. So, my lady is going to call you. And Thank you for everyone who helped. If you need anything, definitely, we are here to help you. Always, always. She won't let us go home at all. <laughs> So trust me. <laughs> okay. In that case, now people who are interested to execute the proxy, they can go to the other room and sit. And uh, uh, Samra and Vaidehi will come there. If uh, I think if you do not have the pen, they will also provide yes. the pen. Yes. Pen, paper, <laughs> copy, facility, everything will be available here. But those people who are interested can go there. How about if we give them the number, token number, one, two, three? No, it's let, fine. Let them I don't think they have so them. many. We can Once handle it. And you start filling up the forms which are given to you. If you have questions, they will answer. Yes. And in the meanwhile, the people who are not doing anything, we will have to keep them engaged. So, the power of mind about which Dr. Rao also talked, there is one wonderful TED talk. You know TED TED talks. How many people have heard about TED talks? TED is technology, education, and design. There are very famous TED talks, and one of there are there are thousands of talks are available. They are so wonderful talk, and we have one power of mind talk already. We have recorded, and we will play that. Can you can you play that? 
so the people who are busy executing the uh, proxy they can already they can get up and go there i will also follow and for the remaining people they will have a wonderful talk ted talk by one doctor uh, what is the name didn't write the name and we will show that name so enjoy the talk you can start the meeting very good afternoon to all of you दोस्तों शब्दों के इस सागर में भावनाओं की कुछ माला मैं आपके लिए प्रयोग कर लेकर आया हूं किसी ने बहुत सुंदर कहा है कि कागज की कश्ती थी और नदी का क्या किसी ने बहुत किसी ने बहुत सुंदर कहा है कि कागज की कश्ती थी और नदी का किनारा था कागज की कश्ती थी और नदी का किनारा था खेलने की मस्ती थी दिल ये आवारा था खेलने की मस्ती थी दिल ये आवारा था कहा आ गए इस समझदारी की दलदल में कहा आ गए इस समझदारी की दलदल में वो नादान बचपन ही बहुत प्यारा था दोस्तों लोग कहते हैं दिल का डॉक्टर है तो जरूर बातें दिल की ही करनी होंगी लेकिन दिल की बातें ना भी हों तो हमारे दिल को छू जरूर जाए दोस्तों आज से कुछ वर्ष पुरानी बात है कैन आई हैव दी स्लाइड्स विच आर फंक्शनिंग नहीं तो मैं संभव बनाना मैं तो तो आज भी शक्ति 
आज से कुछ वर्ष पुरानी बात है कि अपने मित्र के साथ मैं कहीं जा रहा था और उसने मुझसे बड़े मुस्कुराते हुए एक प्रश्न पूछा कि दोस्त एक बात बता हाउ मेनी टाइम्स डू वी री इनकारनेट इन अवर लाइफ उसके इस प्रश्न ने मेरे दिमाग के सारे जालों को साफ कर दिया मेरी जिंदगी के तीस वर्ष एक कैमरे की फ्लैश की तरह मेरे आगे निकल गए और थोड़े समय बाद ही मैंने उससे मुस्कुराते हुए बोला कि एवरी टाइम आई थिंक न्यू आई क्रिएट अ न्यू थॉट आई री इनकारनेट इन माई लाइफ दोस्तों हर एक नया विचार जिसको मैं पानी देता हूं वो मेरी जिंदगी का री का एक नया प्रोसेस होता है वो मेरी जिंदगी को एक नया आयाम एक नया दृष्टिकोण देता है अपनी इसी जिंदगी की दो कहानियां आज मैं आपके सामने लेकर उपस्थित हुआ हूं दोस्तों दीज आर स्टोरीज ऑफ माई होप माई बिलीफ एंड माई ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन दोस्तों ये कहानियां केवल कहानियां नहीं है ये मेरे एक्सपेरिमेंट्स हैं एक पहला एक्सपेरिमेंट जो मैंने अपनी इनर लेबोरेटरी में किया और मेरा दूसरा एक्सपेरिमेंट जो हमने अपनी कोर लेबोरेटरी में किया और इन दोनों कहानियों के द्वारा मैं आज आप सब के आगे एक नया दृष्टिकोण एक नया आयाम दोस्तों प्रस्तुत करूंगा मुझे याद है जिंदगी का वो दिन जिसने मेरी जिंदगी को सदा के लिए बदल डाला 20 मार्च 2003 शाम का समय 6 बजे डेढ़ दिन बाद ऑलमोस्ट अड़तीस केसेस ऑपरेट करके मैं घर पर आया था उस समय हम लोग इसी प्रकार काम करते थे जीवन में थकान थी थोड़ा सा अनयूजल सा महसूस हो रहा था करीब सात बजे मेरी मदर ने मुझे खाना दिया मेरा मन नहीं लगा नहीं खाया मैंने फिर उन्होंने मेरे हाथ में आइसक्रीम दे दी कि बेटा ये तो खाओ साढ़े सात बजे मैंने हाथ में आइसक्रीम ली केवल दस सेकंड के अंदर वो आइसक्रीम मेरे हाथ से गिर गई और मैं फ्लोर पर कोलैप्स कर गया मैं मैसिव सीजर्स थ्रो कर रहा था उन्होंने मुझे लिफ्ट किया हॉस्पिटल में इमीडिएटली एमरजेंसी में ले जाया गया पूरी रात डॉक्टर्स ने मेहनत करी मेरे सीजर्स को कंट्रोल किया अगले दिन मैं आईसीयू में था मुझे होश आया मेरे ब्रेन के स्कैंस किए गए और मेरे ब्रेन में एक बहुत बड़ा मांस एक इन्फेक्टिव मांस पाया गया एक यंग डॉक्टर के लिए ये जिंदगी का अंत था आफ्टर अ ड्रीम रन जिंदगी में जो चाहे जितना चाहे जैसा चाहे और जिस प्रकार से चाहे मुझे सब मिलता जा रहा था लेकिन दिस वॉज प्रैक्टिकली देंड ऑफ माई लाइफ दोस्तों डायग्नोसिस हुआ मल्टी ड्रग रेजिस्टेंट टूबर अमेरिका में सैंपल्स गए 19 दवाइयां उस समय इस बीमारी के लिए अवेलेबल थी दोस्तों 18 ड्रग्स के लिए आई वॉज रेजिस्टेंट एक इंजेक्शन मेरे ऊपर काम करता था 16-16 टैबलेट्स में रोज खाता था इंजेक्शन पहले हिप पर लगते थे जब हिप्स ने जवाब दे दिया तो रोज डॉक्टर आते थे आईवी लाइन लगाकर रोज मेरे को एक इंजेक्शन लगता था फिफ्टी मैंने अपनी हियरिंग खोई दोस्तों दर्द होता था लेकिन कभी भी दुख की महसूसता नहीं की बुझते हुआ दीपक लगता था लेकिन कभी भी आशा को मैंने अपने जीवन में दोस्तों खत्म नहीं होने दिया 20 20 जून 2005 मेरे ब्रेन का ऑपरेशन हुआ आई थॉट एवरीथिंग इज फाइन नाउ परफेक्ट ऑपरेशन कामयाब रहा एंड आई थॉट आई हैव रिकवर्ड मात्र छह महीने बाद जनवरी 2006 दोस्तों मेरे ब्रेन के स्कैन जब दोबारा रिपीट किए गए मेरे ब्रेन में एक और लेजन आ चुका था इट वॉज एक्चुअली द एंड ऑफ माई लाइफ मैं सोचता था वॉट विल आई डू दोस्तों वही समय था जब मैंने सोचा कि ओल्ड वेज आर नॉट गोइंग टू ओपन न्यू डोज मुझे अपनी जिंदगी में कुछ नया करना पड़ेगा बचपन से ही मेडिटेशन की प्रैक्टिस करता था और मैंने राजयोगा मेडिटेशन का एक साल जनवरी 2006 से अभ्यास मूलतः है अपने ब्रेन के ऊपर फोकस करते हुए आरंभ किया वन ऑफ दी स्पिरिचुअल सीकर्स टोल्ड मे की यूज द पावर ऑफ योर बिलीफ एंड मेडिटेशन ऑन योर ओन सेल्फ दवाइयां खाता था चौदह चौदह टैबलेट्स उस समय भी चल रही थी लेकिन आई स्टार्टेड ट्रीटिंग माय ब्रेन एज इफ आई एम नॉट इल रोज मॉर्निंग में तीन से चार बजे उठकर अपने आप को शक्ति देना थॉट्स देना पावर देना दैट आई एम एब्सोल्युटली फाइन मेडिसिन आर वर्किंग परफेक्टली ऑन मी माय ब्रेन इज फ्री ऑफ डिजीज इमेजिन अ साइंटिफिक डॉक्टर अ कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट 
balancing the spiritual power of belief and meditation in his life both working in synchrony both working as complementing each other dosto jahan hum sochte hain ki spirituality ka alag role hai aur science ka alag role hai dosto i started blending both of them log kehte the isse nahi hoga ye possible nahi hai but this is the only option that i had i started believing that i am not ill i am perfectly well in my life एक साल तक दोस्तों मैंने इस चीज का अभ्यास किया अप्रैल 2007, थाउजेंड एंड सेवन माई स्कैन वर अगेन रिपीटेड एंड दिस वॉज वॉट माई ब्रेन शोड माई ब्रेन हैड कंप्लीटली क्लियर ऑफ द डिजीज दोस्तों योर पावर ऑफ बिलीफ दोस्तों हमारे संकल्पों की शक्ति के द्वारा हमारी मान्यताओं के द्वारा हमारे थॉट पावर के द्वारा हम अपने जीवन में मेराकल्स क्रिएट कर सकते हैं We are miracles are a necessity of everyday life. Those so smooth seas are never going to make us wonderful sailor, a skillful sailor. आप सब लोगों के जीवन में भी दोस्तों challenges आएंगे आप सब लोगों के जीवन में भी समस्याएं आएंगी उसका magnitude difference हो सकता है वो किस व्यक्ति से आती है किस परिस्थिति में आती है ये difference हो सकता है दोस्तों छोटी या बड़ी उसका कोई भी size हो सकता है लेकिन अगर हमें उस समस्या को जीतना है तो दोस्तों उस समस्या से हमें ऊपर उठना होगा और उससे ऊपर उठने का केवल एक ही तरीका है वो है हमारी मनोस्थिति माय पावर ऑफ बिलीफ माय पावर ऑफ माइंड दोस्तों हमारी बॉडी एक ऑर्केस्ट्रा की तरह काम करती है 50 ट्रिलियन सेल्स ऑफ योर बॉडी आप सब यंग यहां पर बैठे हैं 50 ट्रिलियन सेल्स ऑफ योर बॉडी ईच सेल इज अ म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट हर सेल अपने आप में एक सुंदर धुन प्ले कर सकता है इट कैन प्ले अ ब्यूटीफुल म्यूजिक बट दोस्तों जब एक सेंट्रल कमांड जाती है जब एक सेंट्रल कंट्रोल जाता है तो यही म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स अपनी इंडिविजुअल इंटेलिजेंस को छोड़कर एक सुंदर सिंफनी को प्ले करते हैं हमारा मानव मन भी दोस्तों इसी प्रकार कार्य करता है वेन अ सेंट्रल कमांड ऑफ माई माइंड फ्रॉम माई सोल फ्रॉम माई बिलीफ सिस्टम इट गोज हील योर दोस्तों एवरी सेल ऑफ अवर बॉडी इट लूजेज इंडिविजुअल इंटेलिजेंस एंड इट क्रिएट्स अ लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी टू क्रिएट दैट हीलिंग पावर इन यू यू कैन री प्रोग्राम योर ब्रेन योर थॉट कैन री प्रोग्राम योर ब्रेन टूडे वी हैव एम्पल एविडेंस दैट योर ब्रेन कैन बी रीवायर्ड दिस इज वॉट आई डिड इन माई लाइफ नॉन एक्सेप्टेंस कंटिन्यूसली टेलिंग योर सेल्फ दैट यू हैव द पावर इट्स लाइक जिमिंग आप लोग शरीर के लिए जिम करते हैं ताकि आपका शरीर शक्तिशाली हो दोस्तों इसी प्रकार आज हम सब लोगों को आवश्यकता है कि वी डू अवर ब्रेन जिमिंग अर्थात वी मेक अवर थॉट सो पावरफुल एंड एम्पावर्ड दैट ईच वन ऑफ यू सिटिंग हेयर कैन डिजाइन योर ओन कॉन्शियस फ्यूचर यू आर पावरफुल बींग्स यू आर अमेजिंग इंडिविजुअल्स हु कैन बाउंस बैक फ्रॉम एवरी सिचुएशन बाय योर ओन थॉट पावर योर ओन belief system dosto so my first message to you today is believe in the magic that you can create each one of you is destined for success is programmed for success success is already on its way it's only your thoughts it's only your weak mental power that makes you far away from success you have the power to create magic in your life dosto mera jeevan isi prakar chal raha tha it was such a wonderful life and suddenly the second incident that happened in my life was on saturday evening 2018 november it was 9 pm in the night we were almost winding the work of my cat lab and suddenly there was lot of noise outside my cat lab and a young 21 year old boy a married boy was brought inside my lab he was dead no heart rate no blood pressure he was being resuscitated there was lot of noise and when we checked his reports he had a massive myocardial infarction massive heart attack we had nothing to lose we took him on the table on the massage put him on a artificial support system and ultimately i operated him almost for an hour we were able to reopen his artery see his heart beating again see his blood pressure picking up and he was revived next day he was shifted to the icu in the recovery room and he was conscious but one thing that was bothering me was that why did this young guy had an heart attack he is a non smoker he is a non diabetic there are no risk factors 
लिपिड्स नॉर्मल हैं इसको हार्ट अटैक हुआ क्यों है 21 साल का यंग लड़का आई वेंट ऑन दी राउंड सी वॉज एक्सटिबेटेड मैंने कहा बेटा मुझे आपके परिवार से बात करनी है हिस्स पेरेंट्स केम देयर आई सेड आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू टॉक टू यू मुझे बताइए कि ये मैरिड है आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक टू हिज वाइफ उन्होंने कहा नहीं आप हमसे ही बात करिए हम ही बात करेंगे मैंने कहा नहीं आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक टू हिज वाइफ हिज फादर टुक मी सेपरेटली एंड सेट कि सर आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर दैट दिस बॉय एंड दिस गर्ल ऑल्सो हैव अ चाइल्ड ऑफ फोर मंथ्स चार साल की उसकी बच्ची थी बट दे आर नॉट इन टॉकिंग टर्म्स दे आर ऑन द वर्ज ऑफ डाइवोर्स एक महीने बाद इनका डाइवोर्स का केस एंड दे विल बी सेपरेटेड मैंने कहा आप मेरी विनती उनसे तक पहुंचाइए कि मैं उससे मिलना चाहता हूं उस लड़की को यहां बुलाइए द गर्ल वॉज वाइज वो वाप वहां पर आई दोस्तों मैंने उनको बैठकर बात की जीवन में छोटी छोटी बातें लैक ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग वो चार्टेड अकाउंटेंट था वो आईटी प्रोफेशनल थी आई काउंसिल बोथ ऑफ देम स्मॉल मिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग वॉज लीडिंग टू दिस काइंड ऑफ अ सिचुएशन इन दियर लाइफ मैंने उसे कहा कि आप भले यू गो हेड विद वॉट यू वॉन्ट बट एक चीज आप मेरे कहने से करिएगा उन्होंने कहा बताइए सर मैंने कहा आप अगले तीन महीने के लिए अपने हस्बैंड को हाथ पकड़ के मेरी ओपीडी के अंदर ट्यूसडे को लेकर आइए केवल तीन महीने के लिए और आपस में एक दूसरे के साथ एडजस्ट करिए मेरे कहने से जस्ट स्टार्ट एक्सेप्टिंग ईच अदर ची सेट कि सर आप बोल रहे हैं तो मैं जरूर करूंगी दोस्तों वो तीन महीने तक हर हफ्ते अपने हस्बैंड को मेरे पास लेके आती थी आज चार साल हो गए उनकी बच्ची चार साल की हो चुकी है दोस्तों उनके डाइवोर्स पेपर वापस हो चुके हैं दे आर लीडिंग एब्सोलूटली हेल्थी एंड परफेक्ट लाइफ This is the magic that those two we can create. This prompted me. This prompted me to conduct scientific experiments in our lab. कि आप जैसे यंग बच्चों को जिनको मैं देखता हूँ 33 percent मेरे heart attack के patients 150 case में operate करता हूँ एक हफ्ते के अंदर उनको heart attack होता क्यों है? We started conducting amazing experiments जिसमें हमने इन बच्चों को अपनी studies में enroll किया दोस्तों 18 से 30 वर्ष की उम्र imagine करिए diabetes नहीं है smoking नहीं करते हैं lipids normal हैं हमने इनके तनाव इनके स्ट्रेस फैक्टर्स को दोस्तों मेजर किया इनको तनाव कितना है और साथ में वी आल्सो मेजर देयर जेनेटिक लेंथ यानी इनकी बायोलॉजिक एज क्रोमोजोमल लेंथ कितनी थी रिजल्ट्स वर रिवीलिंग दोस्तों रिजल्ट्स में देखा गया इन बच्चों की जो शारीरिक उम्र थी वो थी 18 से 30 साल लेकिन जब हमने इनकी जेनेटिक एज को स्टडी किया इन बच्चों की जेनेटिक एज थी एक साठ से नब्बे साल के व्यक्ति के बराबर देयर जीन्स वर कंप्लीटली डिस्ट्रॉयड द सेकंड क्वेश्चन दैट केम टू माय माइंड वाज व्हाई इज दिस हैपनिंग ये हो क्यों रहा है कोई ऐसा रिस्क फैक्टर नहीं है हमने जब उनके साइको सोशल स्ट्रेस को मेजर किया दीज यंग प्रोफेशनल अचीव एवरी इन देयर लाइफ सिक्स डिजिट सैलरी डूइंग हैविंग अ गुड कार अ गुड होम दोस्तों दे हैड हाइएस्ट लेवल ऑफ साइको सोशल स्ट्रेस एंगर लैक ऑफ लव लैक ऑफ पर्पज दैट वॉज प्रेजेंट इन देयर लाइफ फिर मैंने सोचा अगर है भी तो हाउ डज इट डिफर इससे फर्क क्या पड़ना है बॉडी में दोस्तों वी कंडक्टेड फर्दर एक्सपेरिमेंट्स टू शी दैट दो पीपल हु लैक लव इन देयर लाइफ हु लैक पर्पज इन देयर लाइफ Who are having poor family relations? Unki telomerase enzyme, dosto, kam ho jata hai, aur unki chromosome length destroy ho jati hai. Whereas, jo log jivan ke andar khush rehte hain, they have happiness, they have gratitude, they have positive outlook towards life. They are the people whose health, whose telomere length is maintained, dosto. That is why it is very, very important for us to have a life not only which is high tech. आज टेक्नोलॉजी बेस से दोस्तों हम लोग चलते हैं बट गॉन आर दो टाइम्स टूडे इज द टाइम दैट वी शुड इनकलकेट हाई टच इन आर लाइफ कंपैशन इन आर लाइफ लव इन आर लाइफ जॉय इन आर लाइफ वी शुड लिव अ लाइफ ऑफ पर्सनल फुलफिलमेंट वी आर इन अ फेज ऑफ पर्सनल पेंडेमिक मिसमैनेजमेंट दोस्तों इट्स अ पेंडेमिक जहां सब कुछ होते हुए भी आज हमारी जीवन में दोस्तों सुकून नहीं है इतना सामान हम लोगों ने इकट्ठा किया है लेकिन मैं आप लोगों से पूछता हूं कि जितना सामान हमने इकट्ठा किया है क्या उतना सुकून उतना सुख भी आज हमारे झोले के अंदर है दोस्तों अपने आप से पूछ के देखिए टुडे इफ वी वांट टू लिव अ लाइफ विच इज फुलफिल्ड वी वांट टू लिव अ लाइफ विच इज फुल ऑफ जॉय एंड प्लेजर दोस्तों वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वी नीड टू लिव अ लाइफ ऑफ जॉय एंड हैप्पीनेस इट्स नॉट अ डेस्टिनेशन दोस्तों इट्स अ जर्नी खुशी एक हमारी डेस्टिनेशन नहीं है दोस्तों जीवन में हर पल खुशी को हमें क्रिएट करना है इट्स ओनली अ मैटर ऑफ अवर चॉइस 
हम अपने जीवन को दिशा निर्देश किस प्रकार से करते हैं वॉट आर द कॉन्शियस चॉइसिस दैट वी आर क्रिएटिंग दोस्तों आज जीवन जो हमारी जलेबी की तरह उलझ चुकी है वी आर जस्ट स्पायरलिंग अराउंड एंड अराउंड एंड अराउंड और इसमें हम लोग उलझते चले जाते हैं और कभी कभी मैं मजाक में बोल भी देता हूं कि अगर जब हमारी जिंदगी जलेबी सी उलझ ही चुकी है तो क्यों नहीं चाशनी में डुबकी लगा ली जाए जीवन में कुछ मिठास दोस्तों भर ली जाए दोस्तों इस जिंदगी के इस स्पायरल के अंदर जहां हम लोग फंसे हुए हैं इस स्पायरल का मुख थोड़ा सा घूम दीजिए और डोंट स्पायरल इन योर लाइफ बट माई सेकेंड मैसेज टू यू इज इवॉल्व इन दिस स्पायरल इस जिंदगी के स्पायरल से बाहर निकलते हुए आइए कठिनाइयां रहेंगी कष्ट रहेगा परेशानियां रहेंगी दोस्तों लेकिन जब मन हमारा कमजोर होता है तो परिस्थितियां हमारे लिए समस्या का रूप ले लेती है जब मन हमारा स्थिर होता है तो परिस्थितियां हमारे लिए चुनौती का रूप ले लेती हैं दोस्तों लेकिन जब मन हमारा सशक्त होता है तो परिस्थितियां हमारे लिए अवसर का रूप ले लेती है हर परिस्थिति को अपने जीवन में एक अवसर बनाइए हर परिस्थिति हर चैलेंज को अपने जीवन में एक अपॉर्चुनिटी की तरह क्रिएट करिए और एक तूफान की तरह बाहर निकलते हुए अपनी जिंदगी को डिजाइन करिए अपने कॉन्शियस फ्यूचर को दोस्तों क्रिएट करिए दोस्तों अंत में कुछ शब्दों से अपने इस बात को आपके सामने अंत करूंगा दोस्तों किसी ने बहुत सुंदर कहा है कि हर जज्बात को जिंदगी में जुबा नहीं मिलती हर जज्बात को जिंदगी में जुबा नहीं मिलती हर आरजू को जिंदगी में दुआ नहीं मिलती हर आरजू को जिंदगी में दुआ नहीं मिलती हर जज्बात को जिंदगी में जुबा नहीं मिलती हर आरजू को जिंदगी में दुआ नहीं मिलती मुस्कुराहट बनाए रखो तो दुनिया साथ है दोस्तों आंसुओं को तो आंखों में भी बना नहीं मिलती दोस्तों जीवन का नाम जीवन का नाम केवल मुस्कुराना है आप सोचो कि कोई व्यक्ति आपके पास कष्ट में आता है कोई व्यक्ति दुखी आता है दोस्तों आपके मन की मुस्कुराहट आपके मन के संकल्प आपके चेहरे की पावरफुल वाइब्रेशन और खुशी जब उस रेगिस्तान रूपी मन के अंदर दो पल खलकती हुई मिठास की बूंदें डाल देते हैं तो उसके जीवन के अंदर तो दोस्तों हरियाली आ जाती है उसका मन सुकून से भर जाता है और यही जीने का सच्चा नाम है दोस्तों अगर आज आप अपने भविष्य का निर्माण करना चाहते हो तो समय आज है दोस्तों आज एक बात सदा अपने जीवन में ध्यान रखना मेरे दोस्तों वो है कि आज का ये दिन टुडे इज गोइंग टू बी द फर्स्ट डे ऑफ रेस्ट ऑफ योर लाइफ आपका ये जीवन आपके बचे हुए जीवन का पहला दिन होगा और आप इस जीवन को इस दिन को कितना सुंदर बनाना चाहते हो इसका औचित्य इसकी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी किसी और के ऊपर नहीं मेरे ऊपर नहीं दोस्तों आप सब के ऊपर होगी आपके अपने ऊपर होगी कि आप अपने भविष्य के ऊपर कैसा निर्माण करते हो अपने भविष्य से क्या निकाल कर लाते हो दोस्तों एक बार ये कुम्हार ने बहुत सुंदर चिलम बनाई और उसने उस चिलम को तोड़ दिया और उस वो मिट्टी उससे बोली कि कुम्हार तूने इतनी सुंदर चिलम बनाई और तूने उस चिलम को तोड़ क्यों दिया तो कुम्हार बोला कि माटी मेरा मन बदल गया अब मैं चिलम नहीं बनाऊंगा अब तो मैं एक सुराही बनाऊंगा तो मिट्टी उससे मुस्कुराते हुए बोली कि हे कुम्हार तेरा तो मन बदला मेरी तो किस्मत बदल गई उसने कहा ऐसा क्यों बोलते हो तो मिट्टी उससे बोली कि कुम्हार तू पहले चिलम बनाता तो मैं खुद भी जलती और औरों को भी जलाती अब तू सुराही बनाएगा तो मैं खुद भी शीतल रहूंगी और औरों को भी शीतल डाल दूंगी दोस्तों क्रिएटिंग योर ओन कॉन्शियस फ्यूचर आपके भविष्य का निर्माण आप सबके हाथ में है दोस्तों जब आपका संकल्प चेंज होता है वेन योर थॉट चेंज आपकी दृष्टि चेंज होती है जब आपकी दृष्टि चेंज होती है तो आपकी कृति चेंज होती है आपकी वाणी चेंज होती है आपकी संस्कृति चेंज होती है और जब आपकी संस्कृति चेंज होती है दोस्तों तो आपकी सृष्टि भी चेंज हो जाती है दिस इज वॉट इज क्रिएटिंग अ कॉन्शियस फ्यूचर शुक्रिया बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद चली चार मीटिंग थी आ रेकॉर्डिंग तुमने संभाल मांगत आज आ प्ले करने अपनी बधाई पहला मीटिंग में तैयार राखी थी मौको मत आने कहू एम टीईडी टेड टॉक्स इज दीज इज वन ऑफ द टीईडी टॉक्स टीईडी में अभी हजारों स्पीचो आटली बड़ी इंस्पीरेशनल नॉलेज आपती एवं स्पीचो है एटे जो तमो समय खूब फ्रूटफुली व्यतीत करव हो तो दीज इज वन ऑफ द वे तब गूगल में जाइ अथवा तो यूट्यूब में जाइने टीईडी टॉक्स एवं टॉपिक आपसो तो तमने तब्जेक्ट तमने जेमा रस है 
તમને મેથેમેટિક્સ માં રસ હોય ને એનો વિશે કઈક મેથેમેજિક જેવો કોઈ સબ્જેક્ટ જોઈએ એના વિશે પણ ટોક છે जीवन उतार આજે આપણને ડોક્ટર રાવે જે વાત કરી ને એમાં પણ અંતમાં એમને જે કહેલું એ આ જ હતું યોર પાવર ઓફ માઇન્ડ કેન ચેન્જ યોર સેલ્ફ સો રિમેમ્બર ધેટ અચ્છા હવે આજે આપણે સભ્યનો પ્રોગ્રામ એવી એક આઇટમ પર રાખી દે જે લોકો એમની પ્રોક્સી નું કામ પતાવી દીધું હોય તો એ લોકો પણ આવીને બેસી શકે આજે આપણે આપણા હંમેશના હાસ્ય વ્યંગના જે માતબર સ્પીકર છે એવા દિનેશભાઈ શાને કહી રાખ્યું છે કે પંદર એક મિનિટ ની તૈયારી રાખજો દિનેશભાઈ ક્યાં છે દિનેશભાઈ આવો તો દિવસ ને અંતે આપણને થોડુંક હાસ્ય પીરસવા માટે દિનેશભાઈ ને દિનેશભાઈ ને ઓળખાણ આપવાની જરૂર છે અમે દિનેશભાઈ ની ઓળખાણ એક જ રીતે આપીએ છીએ અમારે ત્યાં દિનેશ શાહ અત્યારે ચાર છે એટલે અમે દિનેશભાઈ કૈલાસ બેન શાહ એમ કહીએ કૈલાસ બેન વાળા દિનેશભાઈ ઓકે દિનેશભાઈ એ પહેલા હું એક બીજી વસ્તુ કહી દઉં આજે જે પહેલા શરૂઆતમાં વાત કરી ને લિવિંગ લોંગર તો લિવિંગ લોંગરમાં ખરેખર બધાને ઇન્ટરેસ્ટ હશે અને ક્વોલિટી લાઈફ ઇફ યુ વોન્ટ ટુ લીવ હંડ્રેડ એન્ડ ટ્વેન્ટી ઇયર્સ વિથ ક્વોલિટી લાઈફ એના વિશે આપણે એક ગ્રુપ બનાવીએ છીએ એ ગ્રુપને ડૉક્ટર રાવ વિલ મોનિટર યુ વિલ ડુ ઝૂમ પ્રોગ્રામિંગ અને આ એના માટેની શીટ છે એટલે જેને સિન્સિયરલી ઇન્ટરેસ્ટ હોય બધાનું નામ લખે બધી ઝૂમ મીટિંગમાં આવું કમ્પલસરી સો યુ વિલ બી ક્લોઝલી ફોલોડ અપ ટુ મેક શ્યોર દેટ યુ લીવ અપ ટુ હંડ્રેડ એન્ડ ટ્વેન્ટી ઇયર્સ so write your name email address and phone number in this sheet to aa sheet hu circulate karu chu jeni ichha hoye lagjo andar this is one aa lai lo ne rao sahib ane start writing ane ek biji sheet je che je baat kare ni ke india home as a as case manager and you will be able to get lot of benefits from the government jana vishe tamne puri mahiti na hoy if you want to get information you want uh, it is this yeah so write your name if you and what type of benefit you want to go for that is not written not that is not required to be okay okay you write your first name last name phone number and email address then they will contact you and will help you in getting that government benefit so this is the sheet in which you can write yeah. it will come to you everybody will get that so whoever want to write their name write etle hasya bank ni sathe sathe aa banne list ane pachi e list pakdi ni rakhta tame tamaru naam lakhi jo etle agal mokaljo and ensure that it reaches to everybody hello sabhi jai shri krishna સૌ પહેલા કાંઈ ઇન્ડો અમેરિકન કમિટીને જે મને ચાન્સ આપ્યો તે બદલ આભાર કે હસ્તે દિલો મેં ગમભી હૈ કે હસ્તે દિલો મેં ગમભી હૈ મુસ્કુરાતી આંખો નમ ભી હૈ કે દુઆ કરતે હૈ આપકે હસી કભી કમ ના હો કે દુઆ કરતે હૈ આપકે હસી કભી કમ ના હો ક્યુંકિ આપકે મુસ્કરા મુસ્કરાહટ કે દીવાને હમ ભી હૈ કે ખીલતે ફૂલ જૈસે લબો પર હસી હો કે ખીલતે ફૂલ જૈસે લબો પર હસી હો ના કોઈ ગમ હો ના કોઈ બે બસી હો સલામત રહે જિંદગી કા એ સફર કે સલામત રહે જિંદગી કા એ સફર જહા આપ રહો બસ વહા ખુશી હી ખુશી હો સેમ થિંગ આજે આપણે ખુશી ની જ વાત કરી રાઈટ કે એ ચાર હેપીનેસ ઇઝ નોટ ધ ડેસ્ટિનેશન ઇટ ઇઝ ધ જર્ની રિમેમ્બર ધીસ વોટ વોટ This doctor has stopped. Kushi, a kevi musafari se ke jama 
તમે ટ્રાવેલ કરીને તમે એ ડેસ્ટિનેશન સુધી પહોંચો છો કે ચાર ચમક યા ન ચમક आज इंडो अमेरिकन सीनियर सीटीजन में आने वाले सब किसी चमकते चांद से कम नहीं जमय राजे ससरा ने बहुत दुख ससरा कहू के चालीस वर्ष आज फरियाद मैं मार ससरा ने कर तारे कूतरो ते ऑफिसे जाओ ने पी मेरी पूछड़ी लगत कोई फरिया करे ने બોલો હવે આપણે કારેક છે ને લિફ્ટમાં જઈએ ને અને આપણી જોડે કોઈ હોય ને આપણે પૂછીએ ને તો કેવો જવાબ આપે લો અમે આપણે હું એલઆઈજીમાં ગયો તો અમારા એક મિત્રને જોવા માટે જોવા માટે ગયો હતો એટલે લિફ્ટમાં હું જતો હતો અને ત્યાં એક બેન ત્રણ ચાર વર્ષના છોકરાને લઈને આવ્યા એટલે પછી હું પેલું લિફ્ટનું બટન દબાવતો હતો એટલે મેં પેલા બેનને પૂછ્યું કે ચોથો કે પાંચમો પેલા બેન એટલા મારા પર ગુસ્સે થઈ ગયા ના પૂછો પડોશન હવે એક ટીચરે છોકરાને પૂછ્યું કે પહેલે કે સમય મેં રાજ કે સમય મેં પતિ પત્ની કે બીચ મેં ક્યાંક ફર્ક હૈ તો એક છોકરો ઉભો થઈ કહ્યું કે સાહેબ પહેલે જબ પતિ કુછ કહેતા થા તો પત્ની રોને લગતી થી પણ કહેતી થી કે મેં મૈકે ચલી જાઉંગી ઓર અબ પતિ કુછ કહેતા હૈ તો કહેતી હૈ કે ન મેં રોઉંગી ન મેં મૈકે જાઉંગી લેકિન તેરે ઘર મેં તેરે હોય કોઈ મેં ધોઉંગી જમાનો બદલી ગયો સમય બદલી ગયો અચાનક ससरा जमाई ने फोन कर बोलिया के समाचार जो जमाई राज नोट सरकार पाची खेचवा जाहरात कर तो ध्यान राखी ने बैंक में जाइने जमा करजो तो जमय राजे कहू के ससरा जी न्यूज तो मैं जो ते चिंता न करता बेहजार नोट तो हूँ जो बैंक में जाइने जमा करीश पे जे एना करता ऊँची ने मोटी नोट मैंने पकड़ी से ते क्यों पाची खेचवा छो जमा करवा क्यों आओ तो बिचारा ससरा निराश नाकता क्या जमाई राज तारी पास तो आ एक नोट है मरी पास तो नोट छापा मशीन है आ सासू सांभरी ने तो रसोड़ा मे छीट टपेलू मरू तो ससरा जी बिचारा होस्पिटल में गया दादाजी मरण पथारी में श्वास रही रहा था એટલે સોસાયટીની બધી સ્ત્રીઓએ નક્કી કર્યું કે આપણે દાદાજીને જોવા માટે જવું જોઈએ એટલે બધી સ્ત્રીઓ ભેગી થઈ હોસ્પિટલ ગઈ ત્યાં દાદી માં બાજુમાં બેઠા હતા દાદી માં બોલ્યા કે જુઓ કોણ કોણ તમને મળવા આવ્યું છે આ ઓળખો છો આ બધીઓને તો દાદાએ જીની આમ કરીને જોયું 
અને એકદમ તાડુકી ઉઠ્યા કે આખી જિંદગી એક પણ દી નજર મોડીને કોઈને જોવા ના દીધી અને હવે મરવા પડો ત્યારે પૂછે છે ઓળખો છો આ બધું પત્ની એ કહ્યું પોતાના પતિ ને કે દર મહિને ઘર કામ માટે હવે મને પણ પગાર આપવો જોઈએ હું આટલું બધું કામ કરું છું તમે બેઠા બેઠા વોટ્સઅપ જોયા કરો છો તો પતિ કે માગણી કબૂલ છે પણ મારી એક શરત છે પતિ પત્ની કે શું કે પગાર તું માગે એના કરતા હું વધુ આપીશ રજાનો પણ પગાર આપીશ એક પણ દિવસ નો પગાર કાપીશ નહીં પણ જો કામ સંતોષકારક નહીં લાગે ને તો બાય બદલી નાખીશ કબૂલ છે આ સાંભળી પત્ની કે હવે તો હું ગમત કરતી હતી તમારા માટે મસાલા વાળી ચા બનાવી લઉં તો કહેતે હે કે કફણ પર પાથરી ચાદર અમે મહેફિલ જમાવી છે કે કફણ પર પાથરી ચાદર અમે મહેફિલ જમાવી છે કે દફન ઢીલો મોક દુખો કરી ખુશાલી ખૂબ બનાવી છે કે સોનાની કલમ કે સોનાની કલમ ખિસ્સામાં રાખવાથી ક્યાં શાયર બનાય છે કે આસુ ભરે સાહીમો ત્યારે શાયરી રચાય છે એટલે જ કહું છું કે મોહબત ના ચર્ચા છે મારી શાયરી મો કે મોહબત ના પડગા છે મારી શાયરી મો કે પસંદ પ્રેમીઓ ને કેમ ના હોય દિનેશ કે પસંદ પ્રેમીઓ ને કેમ ના હોય દિનેશ કે મોહબત ની ભાષા છે મારી શાયરી મો કે લહેર ને પ્રેમ થઈ ગયો કિનારા થી કે લહેર ને પ્રેમ થયો કિનારા થી પણ લગ્ન થયા એના સાગર થી આજ પણ કિનારા ની ચાહત લહેરો ને ખેંચી લાવે છે આજ પણ કિનારા ની ચાહત લહેરો ને ખેંચી લાવે છે પણ બદનામ ના થાય પ્રેમ આ દુનિયામાં એટલે પાછી જતી રહે છે તમે જોજો દરિયામાં રાઈટ એટલે કહું છું કે હજારો જખમ થઈ ગયા હજારો જુલ્મ થઈ ગયા કે હજારો જખમ થઈ ગયા હજારો જુલ્મ થઈ ગયા એ સમાજ જલીને શું કરીશ કે પરવાના બધા ખત્મ થઈ ગયા કે અફસોસ નથી કે અફસોસ નથી એનો કે લાખ લાખ સીતમ થઈ ગયા પણ દુઃખ એનું છે કે દર્દ આપીને તમે તો બીજાના મલમ થઈ ગયા કે પગને સતાવે એવી કોઈ પાયલ નથી કે પગને સતાવે એવી કોઈ પાયલ નથી ને બે વર્ડ ગોઠવીને લખી દેવા વાળા બધા શાયર નથી કે આ તો દુનિયાની રસમ નિભાવવી પડે એટલે બધા હસી લેશે નહીં તો કોઈ દિલ એવું તો બતાવો કે જે ઘાયલ નથી તો છેલ્લે કહું છું કે અમારે અમારે તમારે રિશ્તો મેં સદા પ્યારથી મીઠાસ રહે કે અમારે તમારે રિશ્તો મેં સદા પ્યારથી મીઠાસ રહે કભી ન મીટને વાલા અહેસાસ રહે કહેને કહો તો છોટી સી હે એ જિંદગી કે કહેને કે તો છોટી સી હે એ જિંદગી દુઆ હે કે સદા આપકા સાથ ઇન્દુ અમેરિકન સિનિયર સિટીઝન કે સાથ રહે થેન્ક યુ સો મચ સદાબહાર જોકો એનો હું હિમાયતી છું જયારે હંમેશા નવા જોકી રહ્યો છે હવે ત્રણેક વસ્તુઓ બાકી છે સૌથી પહેલી વસ્તુ જેનો ઉલ્લેખ આપણા પ્રેસિડેન્ટ જગદીશભાઈએ શરૂઆતમાં કરેલો એક વિજયાલક્ષ્મીબેન કરીને છે એમને આપણને કેવી રીતે શોધી નાખ્યા એ ખબર નથી હજી પણ એમને આપણને એમની પાસેનો એક સારી સરસ સાડીઓનો સ્ટોક આપ્યો છે અને એ સ્ટોકનો લાભ તમે આજે આટલે સુધી અહીંયા આવ્યા છો તો આજે હાજર રહેનારા બધા લોકોને આપવાનો છે પછી તમે જયારે ચા નાસ્તો કરતા હો ત્યારે તમારું નામ રજીસ્ટર થયેલું હોય તો ધીરેન્દ્રભાઈ ગાંધી પાસે તો તમારા નામની સામે ટીક કરીને તમને કોઈ એક સાડી આપવામાં આવે છે સાડીઓ બધી જુદી છે તમે ખોલો અને તમે બાજુવાળાની સાડી જુઓ કે મારા સાડી થી તારી સાડી સાડી કેમ 
तो ये यहाँ स्वीकार्य नहीं जे साड़ी अमे एने काली बेग में राखेली शरत मंजूर हो तो आप कार्यक्रम पती जाए ते चा पानी पता हो दरमियान के चा पानी पती जाए पी ते जता पेला एक साड़ी विजयालक्ष्मी बहन तरफ थी तमने एक गिफ्ट तरीके लेता जो हाँ हाँ हम विजयालक्ष्मी बहन ने थैंक यू कहवा अत्य हूँ रेकॉर्डिंग कर रो छु आज आज भेट अपने तो आप बदा खूब खूब आभारी छे सुंदर उमदा काम करने अपना बदा सीनियर ने पसंद कर तो थैंक यू बोलो खबर न पड़े रीते डोनेशन कर इच्छा विरुद्ध थी नाम जाहिर कर खास कहवा तमने खबर से इंडो अमेरिकन सीनियर सीटिजन सेंटर वर्षो सुधी अपने जूम पर कार्यक्रमों कर त्रो जटला जूम कार्यक्रम कर कदाच कोई ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हज सुधी कर नहीं एट सुंदर प्रोग्रामों अपने बे त्रो वर्ष दर गुरुवार करता था अने मोस्ट ऑफ दोज प्रोग्राम्स वेर वेल्यू बेस्ड प्रोग्राम एट एज्युकेशनल हो इंस्पिरेशनल हो आज आप जो कर ये मात्र एंटरटेनमेंट नो भाग तो थोड़ो जो आज अपने बात करे बाकी अपनो पर्पज है कि तब बदा एज्युकेट था आप बदा एज्युकेट थी आपने कहीं प्रेरणात्मक आज आज टॉक सांभी पीईडी टॉक ए टॉकनी अंदर थी के बढ़ू जा आज अपन ने एक सौ वर्ष क्वॉलिटी लाइफ एक सौ वीस वर्ष क्वॉलिटी लाइफ जीवा एक दिशा मिली है जुए कौन के लोग के फॉलोअप करे पर देट इज अवर पर्पज साथ साथ अपने एंटरटेनमेंट ना प्रोग्राम्स करे अपने मधर्स डे लग्नोत्सव उजव जेना मोटा भागना तब लोग साक्षी हो इट वोज ए यूनिक इवेंट इन गुजराती समाज हमें आप यूनिक इवेंट आगियारमी जूने एट के आज थी आठ दिवस पी एक अठवाडियु बाकी है तब ने तरा मित्रों जो ना जोड़ाया हो तो ये प्रोग्राम एट एक्सेप्शनली गुड है कि सामान्य रीते जे ग्रुप ने बोला घो घो खर्चो थे ये अपन ने रिजनेबल कॉस्ट में इंडिया थी आएल एक ग्रुप रईश मणियार जे खूब जाता ह्यूमरिस्ट है साथ साथ शायर है बे सुंदर सींगर तब विभावरी यादव नु नाम सांभ हो अमन लेखड़िया आ त्रे जन विडियो क्लिप्स मैं तमने मोकली आप व्हाट्सअप पर तब जुओ के वॉट टाइप ऑफ आर्टिस्ट दे आर अने त्रे नो संगम अपने त्या अगियारमी थानु अगियारमी आ प्रोग्राम है अंदर तक कदाच खबर हे कि अत्य तो जे जगह प्रोग्राम कर एंटून में ऑर्डिनरी पार्टी इज ऑल्सो कॉस्टिंग सिक्सटी फाइव डॉलर्स पर पर्सन और आप जो ग्रुप बोला रहा है एनों जरा मोटो खर्चो है सो वी आर हेविंग वेरी एक्सपेन्सिव प्रोग्राम ऑन देट डे अर्धा थी ओछी किमते अपने सभ्य ने अपी रहा है द कॉस्ट 
प्लीज द कॉस्ट इज ओनली थर्टी डॉलर फॉर मेम्बर्स एंड नॉन मेम्बर्स पचास डॉलर है तो ये प्रोग्राम तेरा बदा मित्रों एटेन्ड करे ये हित में है अमे तो एम मानिए कि जितना ओछा होटो इंडो अमेरिकन ने खर्चो ओ पी इच्छा थी नहीं सौ लोग लाभ ले इच्छा है तमने एम लगे कि यू केन एफोर्ड दी कॉस्ट ऑफ द प्रोग्राम इंस्टेड ऑफ थर्टी डॉलर्स जम के मोदी मोदी साहब जय इंडिया में कहू कि जेने सबसिडाइज रेट में सिलिंडर ना लेवा तो घना लोग तैयार थी गया अगर ओरिजिनल कॉस्ट में लैसू अमार सबसिडी नहीं जोती एवं जेने जी इच्छा हो लोग दे केन गीव एज ए वेल विशर हंड्रेड डॉलर हंड्रेड फिफ्टी डॉलर्स अथवा तो अढ़ी सौ डॉलर में तब को स्पोन्सर थी शको पांच सौ डॉलर में सिल्वर स्पोन्सर थी शको अथवा हजार डॉलर में गोल्ड स्पोन्सर थी शको तो वी वेलकम द स्पोन्सर ऑल्सो इट इज अप टू यू अदरवाइज यू केन जस्ट स्पेन्ड थर्टी डॉलर एर एटेन्ड द प्रोग्राम सो देट इज वन थिंग आगामी कार्यक्रमों क्या है कहवा काम मरू नहीं जरा विस्तृत मार्केटिंग तक ए पी एक प्रोग्राम छे छठी ऑगस्ट पिकनिक नो एना विषय की डिटेल महित तक पीछे मोकलीस प्रोग्रामों अपना मुख्य है हूँ आग बात करूँ पहला आ कहवा जो हक है एवं अपना जॉइंट सेक्रेटरी हाँ जीतू भाई जीतू भाई जीतू भाई जाए तेज क्या शनिवार आजकल एवं शनि रवि खूब ऑर्गेनाइजेशन खूब प्रोग्रामो अपने खाली जगह मिली पंदरमी जुलाई शनिवार ए बस ट्रीप अपने व्रज जाइ रहा छे पाचा फरता कैसिनो जा रहे व्रज और कैसिनो कम्बाइंड ट्रीप खूब अघरी है एने की बसों आपने जो पहला मती थी एना करता लगभग दौड़ी कॉस्ट थी गई मस की कॉस्ट पर पर्सन पचास डॉलर आए थे आम अपने नास्ता मुझे बॉक्स है बीजा जी खर्चा थे जुदा पर छता वी वील बी डूइंग देट बस ट्रीप एट द कॉस्ट ऑफ फिफ्टी डॉलर पर पर्सन एने सवार सात वगे अपने जे गोल्डन इयर्स सीनियर ज्यादा मीटिंगों कर बस उपड़ से व्रज जैसे व्रजनी अंदर दर्शन कर प्रसाद लैसु त्या कैसिनो जाइसू कैसिनो में चार पांच कलाक रोकाईशु और त्या पाचा फरी ने रात्र नौ दस वगे पाचा आईस दिस इज द प्रोग्राम अने आ प्रोग्राम की आटली डिटेल जानकारी तमने बदा ने सौ पहली बार मिली रही कारण आप हज जाहिर कर राइट एना नाम नोधा आई थिंक अपने तरी पास नाम नोधा कर आप निरंजन भाई पास पचास डॉलर पर पर्सन आपी ने नाम नोधाई शको आज नोधा तो आज नोधाजो अदरवाइज चेक मोकली आपजो बे बसों अत्य करी है तीज बस की कोई गेरंटी नहीं जे लोग बे हज़ार साल में एक हज़ार के पंदर सौ डॉलर के पच्चीस सौ डॉलर आपी ने जो लोग स्पोन्सर थे एमने अपने एक एमने अपने फ्री बस ट्रीप आप बाकी रही थी पेन्डेमिक ने कारण बाकी रही गई थी तो जे लोग हज़ार सालना फंड ओगनीस बेहजार ओगनीस नहीं हज़ार वीस बेहजार नहीं हज़ार वीस बेहजार वीसनी साल में जेने जेने हज़ार के पंदर सौ डॉलर आपने आ आप बस में ट्रावल करने दस डॉलर आपी ने नाम नोधा बट यू मस्ट पे टेन डॉलर्स टू गेट रजिस्टर्ड अदरवाइज तब जो आम लेट पड़सो तो तारी जगह बीजा ने लई लैसू तो इवन जो स्पोन्सर्स है एने पर नहीं अपने स्पेसिफिक तारीख आपीशू कि आ तारीख सुधी में जो स्पोन्सर्स नाम दस डॉलर भरी ने नोधा एमने अपने कन्फर्म कर पची तीज बस जरूरी हे तो करूँ पर अत्य कोई गेरंटी नहीं बसों कदाच पहला अठवाडिया में भरी जैसे ये शक्यताओ है तो यू आर द फर्स्ट पीपल टू नो दीस डिटेल्स एट बुकिंग करा मत नाम लखावा नाम नोधाता नहीं Unless you pay the money and you register the name, then only you are confirmed. Otherwise, you are not confirmed. Away, jo ke me atli bastu kai di di pan. Apna trane program vishe kewano me kaviya madhi kar to jitu bhi no to. To jitu bhi aao ek baar repeat kari. I'm sorry. आज नाम लखावा अत्य भी आज आप फाधर्स डे नो प्रोग्राम है एम लोग मैंने चेक मोकली आपे 
પણ અંદર ધારો કે પાંચ જણ નો ચેક હોય એકસો ને પચાસ ડોલર નો ત્રીસ ડોલર લેખે પણ કોણ કોણ આવવાનું છે એના નામ નથી લગતા ચેક ઉપર ફોન નંબર ના હોય અંદર ફોન નંબર ના હોય એટલે મને ખબર જ ના પડે કે હવે આમનો કોન્ટેક્ટ કેવી રીતે કરવો એમને કયા કોણ કોણ એમના ગેસ્ટ આવવાના જે શું છે તમારા પેલા જે બે લિસ્ટ ફરતા કર્યા છે ફરતા જ કોઈ ને પણ બાકી હોય તો એમને અધૂંચો કરો જો એમને લિસ્ટમાં બંને લિસ્ટમાં નામ લખવાના બાકી હોય ભાઈ એમને ત્યાં લિસ્ટ પહોંચાડજો જેના નામ गवर्मेंट बेनिफिट जो बने जुदा लिस्ट है लिस्ट में नाम लखवा एक सौ वीस वर्ष जीवा गेरंटी नहीं पी बॉलो करव पड़े આપણે ફાધરશ્રીની ઉજવણી કરશું એન્ટુમ્બા મહિનામાં જે હિક્સુલમાં છે અગિયાર વાગ્યાથી આપણું રજીસ્ટ્રેશન શરૂ થશે અને તેની સભ્યની મેમ્બરની ફી છે ત્રીસ ડોલર અને નોન મેમ્બરની છે પચાસ ડોલર આગળ તમને પંકજભાઈ જણાવેલું છે તે માટે નિરંજનભાઈ પટેલનો કોન્ટેક્ટ કરજો જુલાઈ પંદર મીના શનિવારે બસ ટ્રીપનું આયોજન કર્યું છે અને તે પહેલાં વ્રજ ટેમ્પલ જશે અને ત્યાંથી વિન્ક્રીક કસીનો માલ લઈ જવામાં આવશે ઓગસ્ટ છ રવિવારે નરેન્દ્રભાઈ પાલોરકર વિષ્ણુ સસ્ત નામ વિશે જ્ઞાન આપે છે દર રવિવારે સવારના સાડા દસ વાગે પ્રોફેસર રાજ કમ્પ્યુટરના ટેકનોલોજીના ક્લાસ ચલાવે છે તેના માટે આપણે ઇન્ડિયા હોમના આભારી છે કારણ કે આ ક્લાસથી ઓરિજિનલ ઇન્ડિયા હોમ માટેના સભ્યો માટે હતા પણ તેઓ આપણને તક આપે આપણે આ મીટિંગ પૂરી કરીએ એ પછી આભાર વિધિ પતી જાય પછી ચા અને નાસ્તાની વ્યવસ્થા છે તમે ચા બનાવીને રાખી છે કે દરેકે પોતાની બનાવી લેવાની જેને જેને જે જોઈતું હોય કોફી ચા અને એમાં કદાચ ઓપ્શન પણ છે કે શુગર વાળી ચા એનું પડીકું લઈ અને એમાં ગરમ પાણી નાખી દો એટલે એક સુંદર ચા કે કોફી તૈયાર થઈ જશે અને નાસ્તાની પ્લેટો તૈયાર કરેલી છે કે સર્વ કરવાનું ત્યાંથી જ્યાં જમવાનું હતું ત્યાંથી નાસ્તો લઈ આવ્યો પણ એ આપણે કરીએ પહેલા આપણે પૂરું કરવાનું છે બંને લિસ્ટ પૂરા થઈ જાય કોઈ બાકી ના રહે અચ્છા બધાને પોતપોતાના એક લોંગ લિવિંગ નું છે અને એક જેને ગવર્મેન્ટ ની કોઈ પણ સ્કીમ ની હેલ્પ જોઈતી હોય એને સાઈન કરવાનું છે અચ્છા હવે આ તો ભાઈ સર્ક્યુલેશન માં જે મારી પાસે ફોર્મ પાછું નથી આવ્યું 
પણ સર્ક્યુલર ભાઈ જે લોંગ લિવિંગ નું જેની પાસે ફોર્મ હોય પાછા મોકલો કોઈ પકડી નહીં રાખતા જો અહીંયા ઉભો ઉભા સહી કરી રહ્યા છે इन्फॉर्म कर विनती कर स्पेशली डॉक्टर वसुंधरा बेन नो खूब खूब आभार श्रीनिवास राव भाई એમણે આપણને લેક્ચર આપ્યું કે હાઉ ટુ લીવ હંડ્રેડ એન્ડ ટ્વેન્ટી યર્સ હવે આપણે બધા આમ તો ખૂબ અઘરું છે પણ જો એને ફોલો કરીએ તો ખૂબ જ સારું છે અને આર્ટિફિશિયલ ટેકનોલોજી દ્વારા જે જે આપણને ફાયદા થાય એ માટેનું જે એમનું લેક્ચર હતું એમાં ખૂબ જ ઇન્ટરેસ્ટિંગ હતું અને ખૂબ જ મજા આવી તે ઉપરાંત સમીરાબેન સમારા રસી કે જેમણે આપણને પ્રોક્સી ફોર્મ ભરવા માટે ખૂબ ઇન્ફોર્મેશન આપી પ્રોક્સી ફોર્મ ભરવામાં મદદ બી કરી અને એના માટે વૈદેહી ચોખા કરનો પણ આપણે ખૂબ ખૂબ આભાર માનીએ દિનેશભાઈ જે આપણા સંકટ સમયની સાંકળ જેવા છે કે જ્યારે પ્રોગ્રામમાં કંઈ પણ પંદર વીસ મિનિટનો ગેપ હોય તો એ આપણને ગેપ પૂરી આપે છે અને ખૂબ જ સુંદર શાયરીઓ અને જોક્સ આપણને કહે છે એ બદલ એમનો બી ખૂબ ખૂબ આભાર તે ઉપરાંત આ વિજયા લક્ષ્મીબેન જે હમણાં વાત કરી કે જેમના તરફથી દરેક બહેનોને અહીંયા ખાસ એક ગિફ્ટ મળવાની છે તો એ માટે એમનો બી ખૂબ ખૂબ આભાર અને આપ સૌનો ખૂબ ખૂબ આભાર અહીં આવવા બદલ અહીં પાર્કિંગની આટલી તકલીફ ને હોવા છતાં બી આજે લગભગ ફૂલ હાઉસ છે તો એવરીબડી થેન્ક યુ વેરી મચ માટે એક બીજી જાહેરાત કરી દઉં કે જે લોકો એક્ઝિક્યુટિવ કમિટીના મેમ્બર છે એમના ઘરવાળાઓ અને એક્ઝિક્યુટિવ કમિટી મેમ્બર એ લોકો પહેલાં સાડી ના રહે એ લોકોને પછી આપીશું તો એ અને અહીંયા જે ઇન્ડિયા હોમના વર્કર્સ છે ઇન્ડિયા હોમની અંદર દર આ લોટ ઓફ લેડીઝ હુ આર વર્કિંગ ટુ ધેમ ઓલ્સો વી વિલ ગીવ વન સાડી સો ફોર ધેમ વી આર ઓલરેડી ગિવન ટુ ડૉક્ટર કે સો એક્સેપ્ટ ધોઝ ધી ઈસી મેમ્બર્સ બેટર હાઉસ એન્ડ ઇન્ડિયા હોમ એમ્પ્લોઈઝ ઓલ અધર્સ કેન કમ એન્ડ ટેક ધ સાડી અને હવે તમે હા તમે નાસ્તો કરવા અને ચા લેવા જાઓ અને તમે નાસ્તો ને ચા કરી લો પછી કે પહેલા તમારે જ્યારે પહેલા સાડી લેવા આવશો કે પછી આવશો તમે જે નંબર લાગવાનો છે એ જ લાગવાનો છે એટલે બહુ દડોદડી કરશો નહીં અને સાડી આપવા માટેની મદદ કરવા મને કોણ આવે છે ના એક જ મળી જો ધોઝ વાર કન્વર્ઝન 
શૈલાબેન ક્યાં છે શૈલાબેન નાસ્તામાં છે શૈલાબેન તમે જ જાણો છો હા તો અને હા તો ભાઈ નહીં તો નામ 